Well, hello, hello, welcome back to Metal Gear Solid 4. Guns of the Patriots. Here we go. We're gonna have the typical uh, mission briefing, I guess. Chemical elements now. Sunny is a very smart kid. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> my throat. We have three eggs now. I guess because Snake, Otacon, and Naomi. Don't you? Good for you. This is my sunny side up fortune telling. Um, when it turns out good, it means something good is gonna happen. Uh huh. So that's why you don't cook them over easy. Hmm? Good cooking is to keep who's going to eat it in mind. Uh oh. Oh. Is this your mother? Yes. They have the same hair. <laughs> She's really beautiful. Tune you were humming. It's from the periodic table, isn't it? <clears throat> Thorium, protactinium, uranium, neptunium, plutonium, americium. Americium. Ah. Uh, curium. Curium. <laughs> curium. Curium. That's it. Curium. <laughs> <laughs> The girls is girls time. Oh, this? <laughs> May I? <laughs> there. Oh, I forgot to activate the V-Sync. Oops. <clears throat> Sunny, us girls have to look our best. Hmm. Her name was Olga. Hmm? My mother. I see. Oh, it's going to burn. That's been more than one minute. Oh, hold on. Hold on. And... There. Done. <laughs> Thanks. Of course. We did a great job. <laughs> 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 so we are going to Europe now. We were on uh, South America. Liquid is in Eastern Europe. He's after the uh, of Huh? What for? It's the final key he needs to gain access to SOP. The keys to the system are Big Boss's genetic code and biometric data. Without them, there's no way to gain access. 
Wait, what's Liquid been doing all this time? How do you hide the help? He's been performing tests. Two tests. The first, using the genetic code from Liquid's DNA chip. In his second attempt, he used the DNA code and biometric data extracted from Snake's blood. What's the need for the original if a substitute works just as well? Neither your genetic pattern nor Liquid's genetic pattern is a 100% match for Big Boss's. <laughs> what do you mean we don't match? Hello, Loon. Welcome. Snake needs a lesson on genetics and mutations, I guess. Um, my audio is active here. Scientifically speaking, there's the markers implanted during the cloning process, the mixing of mitochondrial DNA within the egg cell, the intentionally altered terminator, terminator genes. Scientifically speaking. I'm good. You I just had dinner. You're as similar to Big Boss as you could possibly be, but you're still different. Different? Yes. Are they not twins? So that's what Liquid was talking about. It should have this. We're not copies of our father, after all. Which is why they created Solidus. Solidus is dead. Listen carefully, Snake. This is the most important part. Solidus was a triplet, right? It was from the same egg. I don't know. The AI that controls the system employs a highly aggressive, advanced IDS. It uses a special code to inspect all data and commands circulating within the network. Any data that fails to conform to that code is treated as a foreign object and expunged, like viruses killed by white blood cells. The authentication program this IDS uses is based on a genetic identification program, one I helped develop for Foxdie. It's set up so that host commands only execute... So maybe that's why they need a big boss body or something? However... If the IDS suspects someone is trying to break into the system, it registers that genetic code on a blacklist. That code is then blocked and can never again be used to access the system. Oh. So, if you're going to use a substitute, you need to find a new genetic access code with each new trial. So when Liquid accessed the system in the Middle East and South America, it was only a test. I can't believe this. Snake and Big Boss don't have the same genetic code? Strictly speaking, Snake and Liquid aren't the same either. Which is why Fox Die only affected Liquid at Shadow Moses. I'm a bit lost Spare at this. You. I had Rush What's Russian that? salad, sushi, if and a little bit of bread with Big hummus. Boss's genetic code, the original. They'll have the system completely under his control. Hold on. I thought having his code wasn't enough. You need his biometric data at the same time, don't you? That's right. And Big Boss is already dead. No. He's alive. <gasps> Big Boss. I kill him. His body is, or rather, his cells. That's impossible. Big Boss survives as a biomort, a brain dead shell sustained in the lab. Mm. 
I guess they went too far already in the Solid series to reference has already left for Europe, Metal Gear 1 and 2. Body. The MSX right ones. From the start, he knew his experiment in South America wasn't going to work. Europe, huh? The test was a failure, even with his code. As I feared, it's not pure enough. We need all of him. Our only remaining option is to secure the original. If Liquid obtains the body, he'll be primed to make his final move. Hmm. Allowing him total control of the system. Exactly. <coughs> Riven is there, like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Uncle How, I found it. Huh? Ah. This is it. Where'd you hack this from? AT Security. The Patriots. I can't believe this sort of thing. Hello, Polygon. Welcome. The war economy is heating up the R&D race. Research and development is the RD. Every corporation tethered to the military industrial complex is losing its sense of morality. And it's us science holics who are doing their dirty work for them. Not even realizing it. Can we make Jack better? I don't know. Sunny. Man. We need some. Uh, he needs some milk, bro. Two keyboards at one. <laughs> There's nothing we can do here. Hmm? What do you mean? Look at this. His artificial blood needs dialysis. We don't have the proper equipment. Uh, dialysis? Needs to be filled. Uh. Getting his wounds healed is important <clears throat> too. But at this rate, he's not going to last that long. Dialysis. Is that like what k kidneys do? That's right. I wonder like, what Ryan's condition Sunny has. She seems an like... Older type of artificial blood that was used by the military. Called white blood. White blood. After it's been in use for a while, the blood needs to be dialyzed. Filtered. She seems like very smart, but a little bit socially awkward. Or maybe she just stutters, I don't know. She seems maybe like Asperger's or something like that. What? He saved my life. Madnar? We killed both doctors on the other games. But I guess he's talking about... Dr. Madnar. I've heard of him. A world-renowned cybernetics expert. Strictly underground, though. We're in luck, then. It's settled. We must head for Europe. 
The sooner we get there, the oh, better. Uh, yeah. I'll call Campbell and have him get us landing clearance. <laughs> Good today. Your neck is fine. Oh, a snake! Where are you going? I'm gonna be spewing up poison soon enough anyway. What's one more smoke gonna hurt? Uh-uh. This is a no-smoking flight. Oof. Good to hear. Well! We are enjoying uh, Metal Gear Solid 4, the movie. <laughs> Man, this game is insane with the uh, cinematics. Oh, whatever. Just chilling. <laughs> uh, well, she's looking about Olga, her mother. Oh, look at Emma. They're trying to hit you with their nostalgia. Yeah, what is that, by the way? A new USB. Nope, I haven't. Since I launched it the first time, I tried to put all the settings I could to later crash less. I know there's like a game patch or something, but I don't know how to find it or where to find it or how to implement it on the emulator. So, yeah, it, because it has a checkbox that says uh, crash fix or something like that, and I don't, I don't have that one. But it's whatever. Who is this? Oh, her? That's my sister. Really? I never knew you had a sister. For a moment, I thought she might have been your girlfriend. No, I, I don't have a... What is she doing? Emma She's been a little bit fishy here. She wrote the worm that destroyed the Arsenal Gear AI. Then, Vamp killed her. I'm so sorry. No, there's nothing for you to be sorry for. Or me. <laughs> I used to be an anime otaku. Oh. Used to. So, that's where Otacon comes from. I was always fascinated by sci-fi anime. That's what got me into this line of work. It's too bad reality wasn't so simple. I never even imagined that science, that my own research, could cause so much misery. I mean, it's not like a science holics or Satanists or anything. But even when we've got the best of intentions, we end up being used by others for evil. Dr. Emrek. I think I Naomi knows a lot about that. You see this? <laughs> Sunny helped me build it. Really? Sunny helped build this? We built it using top secret docs and patents dug up from intranets at a bunch of research labs. To tell you the truth, I think she's better at it than I am. But she's just a child. She cracked the protection on your mail. Well, I um, assumed it was you. <laughs> Sunny was taken by the Patriots right after she was born. She never even met her parents. She Did she aspire something and she's having second thoughts? She has trouble speaking. Mm. Her home is in the computer. She can only see the outside from the inside. 
She's always in there, searching for herself, searching for her family. She's trying to find out who she is and where she's going. Searching for herself and her family. She believes she can find the answers inside a machine hooked up to the world. She spends every day inside the net, exploring. For Sunny, this is home. No, it shouldn't be like that. What? It's time you let her go outside. What are you talking about? She hasn't even been born yet. She's still in the womb. She needs to live a real life. But Sonny has never shown any interest in leaving the Nomad. Let, she, let, let her touch some grass, bro. Socialites with all her kids or something. <laughs> I have a feeling she'll do just fine. Really think she'll be okay going outside? That's not what I meant. I think she's got a good handle on her science. Ah. Uh, uh, sorry. Go on. Huh? You were about to say something. Oh. Uh, right. Um, would you mind if I helped Sunny with her cooking? Oh, of course not. Go ahead. <laughs> but, uh... About all we've got on board besides military rations are eggs. No. Leave them off. It makes you look handsome. She's getting out to be flirty. You think so? I cannot see shit, bro. I need my glasses. to sleep in there uh, excuse me well dr emmerich um a woman needs some privacy you know i, I know it's easy to forget sometimes but oh, uh, i am a woman <laughs> you understand <laughs> sorry i oh uh, well, what selfish of me but I'd like to be alone for a while. Right. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> exactly. She's been holding farts for like two hours. I'll show you in. So she needs some time alone. Thank you. To keep that dream alive. Woman don't poor pee or fart. They're pure and perfect. <laughs> This is this turn into a porn movie or what? Is she gonna get stuck now or something? Good night, Doctor Emmerich. Yeah. If you get uncomfortable or anything, just let me know. I'll be out there working. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Uh, call me Hal. Good night. It's a bit awkward, guys. It's okay. He's being an attack, okay? Ha <laughs> 
That means like if you're not gonna jump, I'll grab you. I wish more women were like that, you know. <clears throat> well, that is literally uh, a 25 minutes uh, intro. 25 minutes of cinematic there. Thank you, Kojima. It's not over. <laughs> Act 3. The third son. Let's see. We're changing environments in every act. First we were on the Middle East, then we were in South America, and now we are in Europe. Europa. Snake, a national state of emergency has been declared in an effort to root out the local resistance. The hunt is being carried out by U.S.-based PMC, Raven Sword, one of the companies under Outer Heaven's control. Which means that Liquid's lurking somewhere behind the scenes. Right. And at the top of the target list is the Paradise Lost Army, the resistance group led by Big Mama. Oh! So you'll be infiltrating the region where they are believed to house their base of operations. It looks as if the PMCs moved swiftly, cutting off Big Mama and Company's escape routes. They should still be hiding somewhere in that area. Big Boss's corpse is bound to be with them. You've been added to the PMC's blacklist, so you're going to have to lie about your identity to get in. Yo, look at- I've provided you with a way to evade the checkpoints. There you are. Make contact with the Resistance and find Big Mama. This is our last chance. Am I Jong Snake again? We must reach Big Boss's body before they do. Yo, I look like Solid Snake on his thirties. I guess I'm using the camouflage, like the head camouflage, maybe? Or maybe it's not other technology, I don't know. Next. Like the face camo? Next. Next. How do you pass this controller? Will they not detect like a false positive or like a fake ID or something? Reminds me of a uh, uh, hard life too. You're coming with me. I sit over here. Ugh. Oh. That's enough. I'll take him from here. Is that Meryl? We've been looking for this man. She's gonna hook me up, bro. Y yes, ma'am. Come with me. I don't think they have ever uh, said yet what the bullet is that Meryl is carrying. Is that from Sniper Wolf, maybe? Or from... I don't know, Psychomantis? I don't know. You're looking younger. What's your secret? Face camo. 
A little present from tentacles. Huh. Nice. The PMCs sure seem to know you well enough. You may not believe it, but I'm in charge of overseeing all PMC activity. Having connections can still open doors. You alone. The floating guns are back. And Akiva too. Shut the fuck up, bro! What is wrong with that guy? Oh, giving me away. Listen to me, Snake. After reporting <laughs> Not jet. in the Middle East to my superiors, Not jet. I wrote up a threat assessment. The president's finally realized the danger Liquid's little rebellion poses and has called for immediate action. Now I've got more bodies than I know what to do with. A whole joint Army Marines team. They're already on site, mixed in with the U.S. forces here. We're ready to strike Liquid at any time. You're planning to take him by force. It's crazy. Look, things aren't that simple. <sighs> Listen, old man. I don't take orders from you or from your Colonel Campbell. Uh, it's gonna be the Middle East all over again. No, it won't. If things get out of hand, we can put a total lockdown on the PMC's weapons. They won't be able to fight back. Don't forget, we control the system. I wouldn't rely too much on the system if I were you. We've got them beat in sheer numbers. Meryl. Look, Snake. Just leave this to me. There's no need for you to put yourself in harm's way. Don't risk your life for no reason. <sighs> Snake. What you're trying to do, it's not a mission. I know. It's not justice. It's a hired hit. If you know, then... <laughs> Look, our ways of thinking might be different. But to me, you're still a legend, a hero. I know all about the things you did when you were young. It was what kept me going. I can't bear to watch you die over something so pointless. <laughs> That's very nice. Don't worry about me. Old soldiers never die. <clears throat> Your cause is our cause now. You don't have to do this. I'm no hero. Never was. I'm just an old killer. Hired to do some wet work. <sighs> Fine. Then we'll just have to catch him. Before you do. Right, you're not gonna stop me. I may have loved you once, but now you're just too damn senile to face the truth. <laughs> Wake up and face reality, old snake, and stay out of our way. There's an emotional abuse right there, emotional damage. And Meryl is not considering that she could be on the run with all this system, PMC control and everything, you know? What if we are doing the right thing? <clears throat> what the hell? Uh oh, they they know something's up. 
They were waiting for the right moment, huh? They're gonna follow me or something. Otacon, they've seen this face too. Yeah, it might have been added to the PMC's blacklist as well. And Merrill was acting kind of strange. Things are going to get hairy once the American suppression troops get here. We'd better get to Big Boss's corpse, and fast. But first, we've got to find Big Mama. Snake, let's go over what we know so far. The streets are under curfew. The only people you'll find out there now are PMC soldiers and members of the Resistance. Yeah, I thought it looked a little too quiet to be a tourist attraction. The Resistance members are scheduled to convene at Big Mama's hideout. So our best course of action is to follow their lead. When you find the Resistance, tail them. Let them lead you to Big Mama. But how exactly am I supposed to find this Resistance? The PMCs have laid a dragnet for Resistance members that covers the entire town. They're using SOP to notify each other by radio of any info collected during their searches. By intercepting those signals, you should be able to reach the Resistance members' locations in real time. Intercept their communications? How do I do that? I've provided you with a new device for just that purpose. We're gonna hack into the collect? Communications. Open the item window and select the signal interceptor. Okay. The interceptor constantly monitors PMC voice and data This is some spy shit. We need to listen to their you conversations. The interceptor equipped and you hear the PMC's chatter about the resistance, check your map. It should display the location. <laughs> Got it. Oh, and Snake, I think we've found a way to treat Ryan. Oh, nice. Really? Yeah, we got in touch with Dr. Madnar. Naomi and Sonny are on their way now. Dr. Madnar died. They're a few clicks north of where you are now. It's a non-combat zone, so there won't be any checkpoints. There's even a dialysis machine. It'll take some time, but I think he'll be okay. Good. Anyway, you need to hurry and make contact with Big Mama. I got it. If Liquid gets his hands on that corpse, it's all over. Follow the Resistance's lead. Okay. Signal Interceptor. When a clip allows you to intercept radio traffic from the PMC Raven Sword. As my screen to display areas where Resistance members are currently located. Oh, okay. Civilian Disguise. You can change your costume. Face camo, John Snake. With bandana. Okay. First thing is to look for the resistance. Either use your radar to pick up their trail, or intercept the PMC's radio communications to learn where resistance members are most likely to be found. The textures are a bit buggy here, guys. That's cool. Oh, <laughs> instant, instant transition, oh my god, literally walk three steps, what the hell, what the fuck man, well, you might so fucking troll, imagine having a cutscene for 30 minutes, they give you control to the character, to take it away. Okay, okay. It was just taking a stroll after was just for a moment, but still. Something's up, Snake. Tail him. Snake, the location of a resistance member has been forwarded to your map. Check it out. Yo, can you chill for a moment? So this is a map. Where what is the thing you're supposed to be? I don't see anything. I'm gonna save. Is this guy resistance? Oh, thank you, Rick, for the 10 beaties. Welcome. Is he gonna look back and see me?
How did I find already? I thought I had to... Bro, there's a freaking flat around me. We're doing good. <laughs> Here are my bait alerts. Uh... Not being sued at all. Why does it have a, the knife? Oh, there you go. Oh, it still has it. The interceptor has analyzed a PMC data transmission. It's marked the location of a resistance member on your map. Uh Um what? Where? <laughs> Resistance. So in that jello square. Okay. Doing good. Finally playing the game, Rick. It crashed once and uh we had a long intro. And now we're finally playing. See, there's one guy there. Those resistance fighters can't advance because of the PMC oh, okay. troops. Isn't there something you can do to help Snake? Yeah. The enemy? <clears throat> Oops. How do I go back to the title screen? I want to do this bar without triggering an alarm. I need to not let them see me, though. Not even on the slight list. So I need to peek. Yeah, that's one. So by the time the guy comes here, I mean, I guess he will see the guard down. Maybe we can drag him away before he arrives. And he's guardian angel. is coming so we need to hurry when do this car come oh they're there Okay. Get up. No, 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 no. Do not get up. Okay, and now. Let's go back to the signal interceptor and see where this guy is. And now we just hide here. <laughs> this is a box in the middle of the park, bro. Nothing to see. Now nah, wait, we need I need to find this guy. Where is he? Maybe he's going a different way now? Searching. Do 
Did he not make it here yet? Snail lives there. It lives in that box. Did he take a different route or did he... Did the guard I put there? No, he's still sleeping. I'm gonna shoot them again. To refresh the sleeping timer. has analyzed a PMC data transmission. It's marked the location of a resistance member on your map. Huh? We're under attack! Huh? Okay. Oof. That's close. Where is the resistance member? So he's still here. Maybe I had to follow him. But I clear I clear the way a little bit. I guess if I don't follow him, he doesn't progress? Is that how it works? I hear him now, though. Oh, shit. I'm just, uh... Oh, wow. I'm just, uh, fucking... Uh... I don't have a house, man. My, my box, my cardboard box is my house. Why'd you bully? Why'd you bully me? So they cop. Let's keep going, man. Thank you. I should shoot again the two guys that put it after the park. Where the fuck? He's going left now. Does the does the route change in each try? I have no idea. Do you guys remember when we played Metal Gear 2? That we had to follow that guy to find the on the jungle. To find the path. This is like kind of similar, I guess. I don't know that reference, probably. I hope these two guys didn't wake up. Oh, he's gonna take a piece. Wait, 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 wait. Need to be careful, though. I haven't checked this area. Mm. I'm gonna shoot these guys again. They woke up. They woke up. They fucking woke up, bro. Some check uh, behind, yeah, like the other one. Ching! Ching! True. What is the boy? Where is the resistance guy? Oh, he's there. So he's gonna see the guards now. He's gonna go back a little bit, but then he'll continue.
Do you know, I think it will be better to have the, the other item here. <laughs> this drum. <laughs> because there's drums, but not boxes. So I think the drums uh, are more believable. I wish you could like first person here. Oh, you can't. What? That's so hard to do. Look at the snake like. I think that was a guard. Now, I guess it had to be like not too far, not too close. I had to keep like this kind of distance for him to keep going, but for him not to see me. Enemies there. music though no? true espionage i got to be honest imagine you were like a spy in real life most of the work would be like it's like this kind of shit you know something there <laughs> only not like all the time action Keep going, dog. Okay, we're like halfway there. I'm gonna save again. I'm not sure if this mission has like a middle spot save, but just in case. I hope it does. <laughs> we're gonna have to eliminate some guards soon. So we, we had to eliminate the, the guards without him seeing us. The guards seeing us, um, we're like in between both. So it's not easy. I can't go this way. Oh, we're going to a different part. I'm gonna go this way then. What is he doing? He just ran this way. No guards. He's running now. Alright, we made it to a different sector. It didn't sh shake behind though. Mm. Yeah, I guess it doesn't. Okay, I'm gonna save them here again.
Okay, where is he? The helicopter. Oh, he's there. I'm gonna have to take down these two boys, three boys. Is he gonna see me if I do this? Snake. Look out! Searchlight. Find something nearby to hide behind. Stay out of the light. Search lights? Are you fucking kidding me? I don't see the lights, bro. Are they glitch or something? Where did this guy go? I guess he's around this corner. The light is faint. I guess it's like a texture glitch or something. Oh, there, 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 there. So where did the this oh there he is. I need to be careful with those guys not see me, you know? Okay, we are oof, 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 oof. It's going behind them though. Is it gonna work for me too? I got you, dog. Don't go back there. There's more guards there. Bro, what are you doing? Just keep going and just save you. Bro, this guy's going all the way back. Are you fucking kidding me? Is he behind the truck? Oh shit, oh shit. Oh, there he is. Yo, the drum works better than the box. Hell yeah, brother. So he kept going. Let's go. Bro, you just saw those guys going down a second ago. What do you mean, what? Just keep going. <laughs> Thank you. His water resistance, too. I don't know about that with the holes. It's not like the bucket, you yeah? know? The bucket was bulletproof. Okay. There's gonna be more guards, aren't there? It's so funny though. <laughs> Has it? Has it? I think it depends on the difficulty a lot. And seven again. He went here to the left. What is he doing? Is he changing clothes or something? Oh shit.
That picking though. Where did the other guy go? Uh oh shit. Oh he disguised as this guy. Oh He disguises the guard and I took him down. Okay. So now he can get past the guards. And I can't. Okay, so we we're gonna we're gonna just There's something fishy about that PMC trooper. Do you hear yeah. whistling? Yeah. So we're gonna let him get past them. And then we'll uh, get past them by putting them to sleep. Makes sense. Yeah, I was like, how is there a guard there when that guy just got in there? That was weird. Okay, makes sense. Can I get one of those two? So we both trace as uh, that? Is he not gonna keep going if I don't go? Look at him go. <laughs> so if... I'm gonna try to like get closer to, to make it... Okay, it's going, it's going. So he's moving. We need to be faster. So. Kind of losing. Go, 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 snake. There he is. Oh, wow. He's going where the three guards are. This is really making our path uh, be in a trouble. Well, they're going all together now. Are they going to look behind them, though? No? I'm going to take this guy down. Okay. To the right. This guy's gonna see the other ones I took down, so I need to take him, him down. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I think the one on the left is the resistance guy. Oh, he's not whistling now, I guess. He was looking behind him there. Okay, let's follow him. I believe this is this one. Yeah. This is very different from any mission we have played in any Metal Gear, right? He's whistling again. That is cool, though. It's not very gameplay spectacular, but it's cool story-wise. Look at this cross. A rich like they're conducting vehicle patrols. Watch out for them, Snake. Vehicle patrols. Stealthy. Damn, this is gonna be hard, guys. They're they're seeing each other. They are seeing the guards I put to sleep now. So they may go into caution now. We we, we may go into caution. Or maybe they just like oh, I just fell asleep during work. Just like another day. 
It's like any other day, you know? Yeah, we went into caution. That's fine. Maybe a bit harder now. Maybe reinforcements. Rain yeah, we are coming for reinforcements. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. This is not good. This is not good a little bit. A guy still sleeping there. Need to get closer to him. I don't know if there is anyone around this corner, I need to be careful. Okay. Is stealthy? It is stealthy. Again. Oh clear, never mind. Understood. The state of alert has been lifted. Resume positions. He's going to that corridor and changing again. Bro, what the fuck, game? You removed my drum can. Oh, the game kept going as uh, as that was playing. Can I take his clothes? No. <laughs> oh, we did it, guys. First try. Kaba? Let's meet Big Mama. Are you guys ready? Any bets in the chat? Ooh. Why don't we use the stealth camouflage from Otagon from the Oh shit Who's there? I'm here to see Big Mama. Is this the guy? What do you think? I didn't hear him coming at all. He's gotta be the one. Yo. Yeah. MGS3 Holy old snake my ass look at him performing No, the apple! Oh. Very impressive, CQC, Snake. Are you guys ready? No doubt about it. He is the legendary soldier. Call me Mama. Big Mama. Oh! I need to talk to you. Raiden sent me. My, how you've grown. David. It was you, not I, who was created from the rib of man. But I gave you life. I am your mother. What? What? 
Les enfants terribles. You can't grow a human being in a test tube, not even a clone. You need a woman's body to give it life. You mean... a surrogate mother? That's an awfully cold way to put it. I am your mother. I gave birth for the Patriots. Oh, shit. Snake's mother. Birth. Oh, the forbidden fruit. Appropriate. No? Follow me. I'll explain everything. So big boss uh, Jeanette jeans combined with the hair. The man who wants me dead is Liquid, your twin. You think you know him, but I know him better. He was once Ocelot, but Liquid has taken control of his soul. And now he's locked in a bitter struggle with Zero. Zero? The founder of the Patriots. Founder? When did this happen? Major Zero? 40 years ago. During the Cold War, when the United States and the Soviet Union were still at arms. It was in that chaotic era that the Patriots... Were the Philosophers was before, and then they changed into the Patriots. That's what she's talking about. Zero created the Patriots to manage and control the American state. That control endured long after the Cold War ended. The organization became an empty shell, continuing to function through AIs. Those AIs are responsible for the creation of the war economy, and they gave rise to the Sons of the Patriot system. But I am partly to blame. I bear some of the guilt for creating the organization. It was right after I first met your father. Big Boss. Back in 1964, I was ordered to take part in a CIA op called Operation Snake Eater, which concerned a new weapon the Soviets were developing at the Big time. Mama is My none other than Eva that agent or Tatiana. Big Boss. Shish. I knew him as Snake. Snake? Yes. Naked Snake. That was his code. That's crazy. Time. A name he would give to you, his son. The commander of this mission was a man called Zero, the head of Special Forces Unit Fox. Back then, I was working as a double agent for the Chinese. My objective was to secure the location of the Philosopher's Legacy, a massive cache of hidden wealth and report it to Beijing. I was to acquire a microfilm showing the location... But, but also lock trick you and give you the false one. ...by the Allied powers during World War II. But I failed in my mission and was expelled from China. I took the apple from the snake and was cast out of Eden. After years on the run, I ended up in Hanoi. That's where I met him again. It was around then that Zero used the massive funds contained in the Philosopher's Legacy to start a new the boss, the Patriots, which would carry out the final wishes of a certain legendary hero. The initial membership consisted of Big Boss, Sigan, Paramedic, and their commander. They don't say her name. Oh, and there was one more who we mustn't forget. He stayed behind in the Soviet Union to support the group. Ocelot. Ocelot. <laughs> who is now liquid. Yo, it's, this is crazy. In Hanoi, I went to America and joined their organization. Zero's goal was to achieve a unity of thought and awareness. He believed that was what the boss wanted, and the rest of the Patriots followed his lead. The boss? The boss was a legendary hero from the Second World War, known as the Mother of Special Forces. 
She had an almost overwhelming charisma about her. The CIA feared this, so they had her eliminated. If she had survived, the world of the 21st century might have been a very different place. We were all influenced by the boss's will. It was what drove us to create this organization, to be closer to that spirit. Zero decided that in order to lead the people, we needed a special kind of icon. So we turned to Big Boss, the last son of the boss. He shared more of her life than anyone else. It was Big Boss, the true heir to her legacy, who was best suited to play this role. I believe their original ideas and the Mayor Zero and them, they, they corrupted the those original ideas. To the status of an idol. The truth behind Big Boss became riddled with exaggeration, misrepresentation, and outright lies. Zero disseminated these stories among the masses and gathered the rich and powerful to his... It's bank. like a religion. It's like Jesus! <laughs> Every era needs its symbols to control the people. Whether it be the stars and stripes, or the hammer and sickle. Holy. As the times and currents of politics changed, so too did Zero. Eventually, he became a prisoner yeah. of his own lust for power. Sparking friction between him and Big Boss, who resented playing the puppet. With Big Boss drifting away, Zero realized he would need insurance. Something that would perpetuate the existence of Big Boss, their organization's icon. And so Zero secretly embarked on a new project. Les Enfants Terribles. Its goal was to create a clone of Big Boss, the ultimate soldier. The project was led by Dr. Clark, known at the time as Paramedic. Oh, here you go. We have a name. Dozens of failures. They finally, miraculously, succeeded in producing a fertilized egg. The egg used in the successful in vitro fertilization came from Dr. Clark's assistant, a healthy Japanese woman. Blood from the east flows within your veins. Is that Mei Ling? Give birth to Big Boss. To realize this. To serve as the surrogate mother and was more than happy to care. She wanted to have that big boss baby. Yeah. Nine months later, I gave birth Three. to two big bosses. You and what about Soldus? It didn't matter that you were clones or that they had manipulated your DNA. You were born the same way as any other oh. child from your mother. mother. My mom. Les Enfants Terribles proved to be the final straw for Zero and Big Boss. Determined to oppose Zero and his plans, Big Boss broke away from the Patriots. He left the States, created his own mercenary company, and drifted around the world. Outer Heaven. Your father never wanted you. Human life isn't meant to be manipulated like that. I knew that. After Big Boss left, Zero really lost control. What Zero wanted was an orderly world, one governed by rules. His fortune grew through... Sounds a lot like Sauron. His words influenced decision-making all the way up to the... By total control. As the world saw the rise of digital technology, IT, the internet, and genetics, the Patriots' power grew immense. Their roots spread and took hold throughout the globe. In time, they began to dictate the fate of entire nations from the shadows. And before we knew it, the Patriots, the proud police of the world, started bringing an entire planet under their control. Safe. Thank you. I was going to say, like, I want to say it before it crashes on the cinematic or something. <laughs> Thank you. Their intentions were fair, but their execution was flawed. Zero developed weapons, amassed armies, used information for extortion, all in order to gain more wealth. 
He was obsessed with controlling awareness on the inside from the outside. But I cannot imagine that's what the boss would have wanted. They both misinterpreted her will. The boss will. True. I think she just wanted peace. And their absolute reverence for her drove them apart. So began the war between Zero and Big Boss. She helped to end World War II and the Cold War, right? Striving to realize the she was talking about being a, uh, an astronaut and seeing the planet as one. Stems from so. Differences in race, in religion, in ideology. This war they've caused is no different from any other human error in history. It all started with a tiny fork in the path. That transition, though. And grew into a great rift. There was nothing left of the boss's noble will in their struggle. All that remained was hatred, a passion to destroy one another. Big Boss returned to the U.S. with a plan in mind, and once again assumed command of Foxhound. In Outer Heaven, and then Zanzibar Land, Big Boss plotted coup d'etat against Zero. But you, Solid Snake, his own clone, foiled his efforts both times. Yo. And Gray Fox, Frank Yeager, were left near death. Zero recovered their bodies. Frank Yeager's entire body was reconstructed through surgery, and he was reborn as the cyborg ninja. Big Boss, now a vegetable, became a prisoner of Zero even in death. For Zero, more than anyone else, your father was an irreplaceable icon. No, the truth is, for Zero, he was an irreplaceable friend. Bro. After Big Boss's betrayal, Zero could no longer believe in something so uncertain as life. He lost his belief in everything. Nations, organizations, individuals. Zero was no longer willing to place his organization in the hands of the next generation. Instead, he set up mm. the AIs, a decision-making system formed from all the information he had accumulated. He built four AIs, GW, TJ, AL, and TR, as sort of a digital Mount Rushmore, and one core artificial intelligence to unite them, John Doe. GW. The same GW we destroyed. But the layer solid too. The same. Ever since GW was cut off, JD and the other three AIs have controlled all information on every aspect of global society. Economics, politics, law, morals. It's and crazy. The world like, economy is no exception. You think about it even nowadays, it has to be some system like this, right? Complete control over the world. Big Boss isn't allowed to live or die. He's trapped Information is power. in a brain-dead prison. To bind himself to his friend. To ensure his rule over the world. Zero transformed Big Boss into an icon, neither living nor dead. Sounds almost like a religion. Naturally, Ocelot and I planned to free him from Zero's prison. We enlisted Naomi Hunter, an authority in the field of nanomachine research, into our organization. And we used Frank Yeager to kill Dr. Clark. Ocelot tortured the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, also known as Signet, to death. And made wow. It look like an accident. The Shadow Moses incident. Wait. With paramedic and Sigint dead, Zero was the only one left. But Decoy Sigint? Wait, what? I'm lost. I lost Ocelot. Ocelot wasn't fighting for the Pentagon or the Russians, and certainly not for Zero. He was fighting. Oh, it was the original Larpar chief. Okay, okay. He idolized him. Like. I have a question though. Can, 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 can we have a moment, game? 
If Mayor, like on the 60s. When Ocelot grafted Liquid's right arm to his own, his body was taken over by Liquid's thoughts and spirit. He may be Ocelot in physical form, but his mind is Liquid's. <laughs> I was the last one. And then someone appeared to help me. Raiden. It was when I met him that I finally discovered the location of Big Boss. It was in the data he obtained from GW. Mm. The one that Solus gave him. Retrieved Big Boss. But Big Boss was still asleep, as Zero had left him. Why did Zero keep him alive? People need heroes. Zero wanted to create a messiah. A legend. That would never die. Liquid is after Big Boss's body. Is it here? I'll take you to meet him. Hmm? This is his Pix, his holy ark. I am your father. Is alive, but his we burn is him locked away by nano machines. So technically speaking, he's not really brain dead. We can't allow liquid to inherit the same sins that corrupted Zero. Manipulating people's minds for the sake of his own ego. Well, Solid Snake just met uh, his mother and so his father again after 20 years. Not 20, 15. Not gone. Snake, it's Naomi. What happened? She's gone. She's not in the Nomad anymore. When? Less than an hour ago. She disappeared right after she and Sonny got back from Dr. Madnar's place. Why weren't you watching her? I didn't have my glasses on. Naomi said it herself. The experiment can't succeed without her. You think she went back to liquid? Uh, what about Bryden? Good news Who on that? that front. We managed to get our hands on a dialysis machine and set up an ICU. We just started him on dialysis and treatment for his wounds. Will he live? Yeah, no worries there. Sonny's okay. taking over for Naomi. But his treatment's probably going to take 48 hours. Until then, Raiden can't move. Hey, you! Come here! Huh? This is one of the beasts. Hell? What the hell is that? Move! Same style. Spies or something? Are they tracking us? Through the canal route using the real van. Get it ready. Hurry. Yes, ma'am. Snake, over here. So, how did they rescue? You've got decoy vans set to draw some of our pursuers away. Oh, this is gonna be another one of these. Oh, her, her bike. Yes. 
the same one from the Metal Gear 3 credits, like end scene. Yes. Do I have to drive? Do I have to shoot on the bike? I don't know. All of these children are orphans. They work in arms factories. And when they grow up, they want to join a PMC. They seek revenge on other companies, PMCs that killed their parents, and use their earnings to support their younger siblings. This is the only thing that I don't buy from this game's narrative. Like, PMCs will never be a thing. Like, why, why will people want to? Being war, constant war. The FPS I don't know. games that these children love are distributed for free by these companies. Of course, it's Ooh. all just virtual training. It's so easy for them to get absorbed by these war games. And before they know it, they're in the PMCs holding real guns. These kids end up fighting in proxy wars that have nothing to do with their own lives. They think it's cool to fight like this. They think that combat is life. They don't need a reason to fight. After all, for them... It takes a lot of like adoctrination and like a lot of uh Zero is the cause of all this. Ideas to make a person actually go to the military and want to fight for like patriotic or a war or something. It takes No many people will voluntarily do that basically. Some will, not too many, but a lot more do it nowadays because of uh the whole ideology since all the countries had to push to to have militaries, basically. All these ideas of uh, patriotism. With so many wars being waged, oil and biofuel have become as precious as diamonds. It's been a while since I went out for a ride. Are you sure about this? <laughs> I only get off my bike when I fall in love. Or fall dead. Same quote from the third game. Call me Eva. <laughs> I need to remember to save. I love talking! Let's fucking go! My action. So how did they get the big boss body from zero though? Did they explain that? Did I miss it? I don't know. And also, Major Zero on Metal Gear Solid 3 on the 60s. On the 60s? He he looked old. He looked like 50 or 60 years old. And this is 2014. They, this game is in 2014. So that is 50, 50 years later. How is he still alive? Hello, man, and welcome. So Mayor Zero must be like literally a hundred years old. We have to keep Big Boss's body out of enemy hands, no matter what. Get the body safely to the canal escape. Oh my god. Okay. I want to say. Have you had dinner yet, Wazer? Yes, before the stream, of course. I always have my a pee and some food before the stream to have energy. Alright, so I'm doing non-lethal. We have infinite ammo for this section. Is there any weapon like a rifle? That this tranquilizer? Is that a thing? Oh, you cannot buy from drivings here. Items. Okay, okay, okay. So well, this is gonna be rough. So for the geckos I will shoot, and for the soldiers I will put them to sleep, I guess. Yo, what the fuck? Holy, this is literally like a movie. I can't, I'm not even controlling anything in the camera right there. Right 
Bro, on the front on the right where Bro, what the fuck? I'm not doing anything. I'm not shooting at anything. I'm not. I'm losing health, though. God, I am. Yo. What is this? <laughs> I just feel all the inputs I did there were for nothing. Nice, sounds good. Hey boys, take this. Ah, I cannot use the mods in here, are you serious? Oh, the fear is here. Why can I not aim? Oh, because she's on front. What the fuck is that? Is that a frog? Just trying to get... I got him! Go, 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 go! Bro, we need to protect the van. Boys, 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 boys. Here we go! Stop, man. Shush. See, it hurts. Oh shit, boom. I'm trying to help a big mama. Got one. Oh. It's so fucking hard. Got him! So fucking hard to hit him <laughs> in a bike, so let me tell you. Got him! Oh, the vice really damaged. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make this, guys. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make this. Crossing the river! Crossing the bridge! Did I do it? All oh, the fury is here. This is flying, guys. Oh shit! The rage. Oh fuck! Emulator, hold it, hold it, emulator. You can do it. Don't crash. Watch it. I'm not gonna have to fight this boss on the bike. So he's like one, one like person, and then he has like four or five uh, just wings following, basically. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Yes. You here? Okay. Sorry, sorry, I'll take on. I need to save, man. I got it. No more buttons, only the real one. So, how do I kill this enemy? Bro! Uh, for those one, for those ones that can like shoot this, this. There you go. Need 
but for that one, I wanna... So this is fucking intense. How the emulator is holding this shit? I don't know. My stun grenade! Where did it go? There is like a... I have 9 rations, so I should be able to hold a lot of hits. As far as I don't have the van health. No shit. Bro, am I supposed to end that? Hello? Okay, okay, we got him. <laughs> I don't see the, the what the boss health, so I'm guessing I'm guessing I cannot get it yet. Ouch. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell is happening? Hey, okay? I'm fine. So many frogs. And sacrificing damage to, <laughs> to get the the boss. Oh, oh no, they got her. I don't think she's she got shot, bro. This section is fucking crazy. I got two. I can see shit, bro. I think we lost them. Okay. I still need to get the the anger, the, the fury, the rage. Okay, holy shit, this section, man. Try aiming the gun. <laughs> that was rude. She got shot, though. There it is. I don't know where, but... Oh. She's back. Uh-oh. Boom. No! Big boss body! Se fue a la puta! Mande, do you know that, that video? Big mama, come on. Stay with me. Oh, that's the same injury. As she had, uh... I need you. Uh, is that you? Like Big Boss. Yes. Mother's work is never done. Man, the same as in the branch when they crash. Big Mama. Look. Oh. 
where's the van? Over there. Where are the enemies? Where, where? where? Oh, there she is. Thank you for giving us some, uh, some time. <laughs> the children. I don't know, Polygon. It's like a Spanish guy who describes a motor crash from his friend or something. No. She'll be coming to search the van. I'll take care of it. You stay here. Keep watch. I'll contact the children. Here. Take this. Snake. Come back in one piece. I will. We're gonna have to get the, the balls, I think. Like, Kojima knew this game will be the end of the Metal Gear saga. So he put so many references to all the other games in the saga. Right? Like this flashback mechanic, full of nostalgia. A lot of quotes, a lot of characters, a lot of moments, very resembling the previous games. Are we gonna have to fight on like a tower? Kind of like a Resident Evil Village uh, Dimitrescu fight, kind of? I'm not sure. I don't remember. Well, at least I can use the sniper here. The mosey. What are the reference of the Phantom Pain? Oh. Syringe time. The Nano Machines. So are you, Mande, are you referring to like, it's like where are the reference from this game to the Phantom Pain or from, on the Phantom Pain to other games? Because from this game to Phantom Pain is impossible. Since it's after. I'm from the Phantom game to all these. I mean, so many. When we play Phantom Pain, we'll see. Only. Raging Raven. So she can do like a heat attack. Go, 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 go. She can burn me. Yo, be careful, man. Yeah. Where the fuck is my sniper? <laughs> I need to save too. Give me my mosin right now. Hell yeah, brother. There you go. So she destroys the walls. Okay. I'm gonna heal once and then equip the solid eye to see her better. I don't really know how this works. Hmm. 
not gonna be easy to hit her. Can I go on the top or something? Okay. I guess I cannot do like face to face. Oh, that hurts! Oh wow, she has a grand launcher. So hit and run, hit and run. She's your low, eh? Oh, oh, be careful! Yeah, I saw that coming. Shit, too late. Okay, I'm gonna leave the rations. Where did she go? Oh! Wow! What a dodge! I may be all no. <laughs> Fuck. Should we forget? No, oh, I have to reload. Oh fuck. Holy shit, look at me. <laughs> oh fuck. She's still shooting me. One hell. Can you just give me a break? I get, I got her there. One health, but I have the ration, so. Oh, fall! Stop. I'm here. Bro, I tried to dodge it. I don't mind trading though. That hit me. What if I put the 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 roll? Will I not take damage? She's almost dead. And she's gonna probably have a second phase, just like the other one, right? Was that? Ooh. Bro, her flying is so unpredictable. Might if I got there. There. Who else was? She's dead.
Got her. I don't think she's completely over though. We're gonna have a second phase, don't we? It wasn't me who did this to you. I can feel the anger building up inside. Away at me. Embrace the peace, inner peace. What do you guys think of like turning the villains, or, like the mini bosses, into a tragic backstory? Because they're literally not doing this on their own will, they're being mind controlled basically. Let your anger flow. So you have more empathy towards them? Hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be like the the other one too. It's, she's gonna be dodging probably, right? Okay, let's see how we do this. I'm gonna save again. <laughs> so the other one, we got her with uh, stun grenades. And then a little bit of pistol shots. Let's see. So she dodges. A little bit of list. Can I predict her dodge? Or we can do this too, let's see. Too, too far. Yo, look at that damage, what the hell? Let me try to snipe her. And what we're hearing in the background is like her... Her past trauma. Oh my god, the game crash. Yeah, like that. Let me try to do that with the sniper. If I get her once, it's gonna do so much damage, right? Did that do a lot of damage? Not really. Almost. She was beating the fuck up, bro. Whoever kidnapped her. Oh, so close. Bro, I'm missing for like an inch. There you go. Alright, GG. Bye-bye. Good night. can see anything. I'm flashbang. Can we actually save this woman? Can we like free them from the machine? Make them back human. I guess they are so they are so far consumed into the 
they're so drag too, right? That once you remove all that shit, the body and the brain cannot hold that shock, I guess. It's like getting disconnected from the Matrix. Right? It's like too suddenly and too... Like not being prepared, basically. I also wonder if it's different killing them and using the tranquilizer. Does something something change? I I, I don't know. Well, we got our grenade launcher now. Can I put sleeping sleeping gas grenades there? <laughs> the can I put stun grenades there? To bring that bird down, snake. Drab it. All right, back story time. A souvenir too. A grenade launcher. Nice. That's a real user-friendly weapon. Not much use to me without an ID, though. I laundered this one free of charge. What's the catch? Only that you give it to me when you're done with it. A weapon with that many decades of rage stored up inside it? Now that's a collector's item. How old was she? I'd say about 20. But she had years of soldiers' rage hidden away in that youthful body of hers. Soldiers? Yeah, the soldiers of Ake, a place that hasn't seen peace in a long, long time. She was captured by one side or another, and kept caged up like an animal, along with God knows how many other kids. Anonymous violence. Exactly. It's unknown whether her captors were with the government or the rebels. In any case, they got their kicks by abusing these helpless little kids day after day after day. That constant barrage, that battlefield rage, slowly built up inside their bodies, their minds. The kids tried to keep each other's spirits up, always clinging to the hope that someone would come to their rescue, barely surviving off of scraps of food. But those soldiers didn't stop. They called the kids parasites and shit-eating ravens, beat them even harder. Then one morning, the soldiers just up and left leaving the surviving kids to be eaten alive by the birds. Almost like one of those... That's why she said she was being picked by the ravens. By one, their bodies were picked apart yeah. by raven's beaks. Until finally the flock came for her. But by some miracle, their beaks cut her bonds instead. And like that, she was liberated. In that instant, she was filled with an uncontrollable rage, and it smothered her soul. She ripped the ravens pecking at her to pieces, and then went after the soldiers. And when she finally caught up with them, she waited until nightfall like a hunter awaiting its prey. They say that when a raven cries, a man dies. And that's exactly what happened that night. Screeching and cawing, she killed every last living being in the camp. Both the soldiers and the civilians they'd enslaved. Wow. In her eyes, there was no longer a difference. The cruelty her friends had suffered, the pain and humiliation she'd endured. Hers was the distillation of the rage that decades Hello, ago Great Pie, what's up? It's going. Mm. It was her strength. It's going well, kind of. The game, the game crashed a couple of times. There's something else, Snake. You managed to cleanse Raven of her rage. Exactly, she was purified. Oh, You're the seed of war. In fact. I'd say you might even be war itself. It's a nice bedtime story. Maybe it's still too early to tell. It's okay. It's okay. B core ahead of you. Keep your eyes Before playing this game, I knew that could, that that will probably happen. So I was kind of prepared, but it's still annoying when it happens. Okay, so we can use her face now, I guess. Doing well, thanks. Nice. How how did the Resident Evil Four challenges go? Okay, as far as we get past the cinematic and we can save again, I'm happy. Let's see how Eva's doing. Mother! Snake. I have to apologize. The three vans that came out with us are decoys. Where's the real one? Uh, the real one is floating down the river. 
headed downstream. I managed to get in touch with the children. The Pix is safe. Oh. We're going to rendezvous on the riverbank downstream. Okay. Land and air routes are cut off. Oh, but there's a cruiser waiting for us. The Volta River is our only chance of escape. Can all take on pick a sap or something? Let's helicopter, you know? Here. Hurry. Good thinking. Let's go. We got this. Oh. 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 Okay, I still have more to do. Finish the village section and realize I missed a treasure, but didn't have an early save to get it. Oof. Had to restart. <laughs> Wait, can you backtrack in that game? I don't think you can go back right now. There's like checkpoints. But once you get past them, you cannot return. Well. This way. Follow me. Can I ride the bike? I don't need to feel the wind anymore. There's no need to keep lying. Yeah. I only get off my bike when I fall in love. And when I die. Stop it. Give me a hand. Yeah. It will be It will kind of sweet if she calls him son. There should be fewer of them. And then he calls her mother. At least once or, or something, I don't know. Uh-oh, more of those spies. So they know we're going into the sewers. Whenever I get like achievement or challenges, and the game has like, let's say it has like 20, 30, 40, 50, whatever challenges or achievements. Usually I like group them by like, okay, I can do these five together or these 10 together. But because if you try to get too many at once, uh, it gets harder and harder, right? So I don't mind like redoing the game two, three, four times, depend on on that stuff. Oh, yeah, we saved the game. It's not over though. That was a decent boss fight. I think I like more the first one. Okay, we are down the river, I guess. Bro, I've been streaming for two hours and 40 minutes. I'll say from that, I'll say an hour has been gameplay. And an hour and a half has been... It's liquid. What the hell? Bro, it's always two steps ahead. An hour and a half has been cut since... <laughs> this game is a movie. Liquid. Not bad. Also, Greedy Pie, this game is the, the conclusion of the saga. So, that no longer matters. I recommend you not watch anything. And Naomi is there too. Naomi. Naomi told me everything. And now, thanks to her, I finally have it. The thing I've sought for so long. Big boss. Put down the gun, Snake. It's already too late. You almost did it. But it looks like I win after all. A knife is better in CQC. Cigars. Father's favorite. What do you say? Care for one last smoke? Huh. You think you're a big boss now? <laughs> Do 
We wanted to surpass Big Boss. Those words. He has charged. His words. Three games ago. <laughs> but all that ends today. <laughs> comes to seek you see I've got the upper hand the upper arm you or hand get a hold of the system you'll only have one part of the Patriots AI the military part what of it brother it's only a matter of time before I have everything. Not again, Revolver. You already did this to me once. Remember GW? The AI they think they lost? It's mine. I'm a part of my army. Impossible. We destroyed it. Hmm? Your worm only managed to cut GW into little pieces. Pieces we were able to reconstruct. And then we stowed it away inside JD's network. Oh. This man's body has served me well, allowing me to pass every security barrier between me and GW. After all, the Patriot system is nothing more than a machine. GW is a spook inside the network. There's no way JD would recognize it as an external threat. Once I destroy JD with a nuclear strike, the Patriots network will be mine. And then I'll build my haven, free from all forms of control. I'll cast aside my old identity and take my own name for the first time. I'm down to do that, actually. You're planning to recreate the Patriots. Snake, we were created by the Patriots. We're not men. We're shadows in the shape of men. We're freaks who never should have existed. We're a system. Insurance that future generations never prosper. I agree so far. But does that make you less? Fit to create us, and in doing so, became our only raison d'être. <laughs> So before he says he wants to destroy the Petra sister, and now he says that. What? I don't get it. it all began what is it? Zero and Big Boss. Our purpose in life is to fulfill our destinies. And once all is returned to zero, the world can be reborn. Calling him by his real name. <laughs> yeah. Wake up, Ocelot. I know you're in there. 
not know an age of light. If we're to pass the baton to the next generation, the only choice left to us is death. Boss. Good. The players have all assembled, Snake. The time has come for you to witness. Witness our moment of triumph. But it's still very interesting. Like, if you have followed the whole saga and then you play this, this is actually like fan service. It's like what we want to for the story to conclude. Because if they want to expose all this information, if, if they want to do this much exposition, it will be impossible through gameplay. I don't know. Kojima could have perfectly made a Metal Gear movie. Like, perfectly. Oh. So these are the PMCs. Oh, this is Meryl too. Oh, yeah. Now let's see how your plan worked. So he controls the military part of the AI, right? With if you have that part, you may control the rest. It's like politics, economics, culture, society, etc. Right? <laughs> we get it, we get it, we get it. Come on. You're be showing us people getting ready with guns now, like buttons. That's the thing, this is what I feel about this game. It's like, it overdoes the cinematic as in like, it goes more than it needs to be. Right? It drags on the explanation of certain things. Uh, we got it, he's surrounded by enemies. We got it. But I, think it, I guess it takes its time to build the tension. I guess if you do it like quick, it's not the same, I guess. Okay, fine, whatever. I'm not a movie director or anything to know these concepts. 10 minute cutscene of Solar's assembly. Yep. 
I mean, if it was like a real war, it would be like days or weeks or months of like troops positioning all there, right? It's just realistic, guys. Come on. Never question Kaima. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like slow mos. Yep. <laughs> he got control of the system now. But we have a an altar gun, right? The system is mine. Yep. Your guns and your weapons are no longer your own. <sighs> Insane! The game title! Shit. It's not only controlling the system, it's taking it down! Snake, don't you have a gun that doesn't have ID? And you can use freely, and he cannot block. I'm too busy to do. Because of that driven, um... Kind of comic a little bit. Bang. Oh, now he's using. Oh, okay. Bro, I, he has been testing step by step to make sure everything worked according to his plan. Holy shit. Akiva is always fine. Commander. Commander. I guess Akiva doesn't have nano machines. You're okay. Yeah, I'm fine. But or maybe his diarrhea helps. This cutscene was was pretty epic. <laughs> 
So did Naomi infiltrate like pretend to leak her location to infiltrate the the plane and then go back to Liquid to to do the double cross or is she doing the triple cross? What if she's doing the triple cross? So she she's going back, but she's still good. He said it again, yeah. He's, I think Kojima here is like recreating himself. So like, ah, oh, yes. Um, yeah. It's like, yes. Finally. <laughs> I can go. I can go all out. <laughs> oh shit. Jump on the river. Oh fuck. What is snake, though? No? Bro. Do you know how I'm missing? Raiden. Imagine Raiden here appears now. Oh, it's fucking epic. But I, if, I think he has to heal. He's not ready to fight again. Are they gonna kidnap me, me too? What? Bro! That's your father right there, motherfucker! Oh, it's burning! Again! Does Eva dies here? I don't remember. So long, snake. True, true, true. But I mean, if he cannot even like move, he doesn't have blood. He's not afraid of dying fighting when he feels okay, but if he doesn't feel okay, I'll do that. Shit! Burn my face! Oh! All take on is infiltrating! <laughs> Are you fucking serious? The little robot from All take on is infiltrating on Liquid's boat. <sighs> He's bake it snake, cook it snake, burn snake. And I'm not sure if Eva died. I don't think she died though. She got burned, but. Yeah, and but but he shot uh, he shot big boss right. Yo, look at these guys. They're not invisible. Does anyone cares about those two guys actually? I don't think so. Akiva at least is, has like it's funny on personality. And then Meryl of course is is amazing. Oh 
Come on, Akiba. Revive her. A little CPR and some uh, oxygen. Come on, bro. Six. Oh, eight. No. Come on. Don't give up on me. Bro. Bro. Bro, that's enough. No way, right? No way she dies here. They, they're baiting. They're baiting. They're baiting. They're baiting. Okay. That was too long. It's not. If you don't have oxygen for that long, you probably have some brain damage or something. The hell? She wants more? She liked that kiss. She was pretending. Thank she was like, ah, I'm drowning, please. I need some oxygen. <laughs> no. She got a great butt. Well, we are at the almost 30 minutes of cinematics, guys. Are you guys enjoying the movie? I love, I love this gameplay. When a beast steps into the light, uh, uh, unless the light is put out, the shadow cannot be erased. She's gonna die for sure, right? After the bike accident so and this. As there is light, there is shadow. To return everything to normal. The light must be extinguished. <laughs> I don't agree with the, the philosophy, Eva. If you extinguish the light, then there's only shadow, only darkness. Why did you fill the room with light? Huh? Well, imagine meeting your mother. And she dies the same day. Eva is one of the coolest characters in... She only appears in two games, but yeah. Is that really big boss? Is that how they're gonna end it? Really? Fucking guy. Oh my god. Not you, bro. You're the last person I want to see right now. Like I said, we pride ourselves on service. Come on. Let's take this guy to his friends. Mustache of steel. Didn't burn. Is this... No, it's Eastern Europe. I don't know. Maybe that's the, the noob. Can I save, please? I will finish. Holy. Good game. Good game. I was thinking, right? I was thinking. If Liquids took control of Ocelot, if you cut his arm, 
if you catch uh, Liquid's hand, will he ba he go back to to Ocelot, or is he like possessed, like a virus that is already like uh, took over? Oh. Groggy, he woke up from a nap. Nice. Kojima! I need some Kojima, those in my veins. But it's sunny singing. Also, we don't know which side Naomi's helping. We'll launch a stealth nuclear warhead. That's her. Oh, the Ultracon's robot the infiltrated in the uh, liquids folder, can't. right? That's right. We've taken over their guns and heavy weapons. But the WMDs are still under JD's control. Weapons of mass destruction. That's where Rex comes in. Do they have I fucking... I identify nukes they don't control. Vamp, how long until Rex is ready? They have a metal gear. All that's left is the final check. We've identified JD's location through GW. And abandoned 20th century satellite orbit. Disguised as debris. A clever place to hide. Hmm. Satellite orbit. With a stealth nuke, there's no need to worry about the Patriots intercepting it. By the time they realize what's happening, it'll all be over. Once JD, the core AI is destroyed, GW's priority will rise to one, and all the systems under JD's control will then be ours to command. Now go, prepare our haven. I guess they have like priorities. <laughs> like permissions levels, right? Oh, they discovered us. The video feed from the Mark II cuts off here. Haven. Yeah. What's the purpose of having that camera man. there? Like, I don't get it. In the beginning, the Patriot system was controlled by four AIs, with JD at the top. One of those AIs was GW. The Patriots thought we can it had look been at destroyed, Sunny opening a box but Liquid something. was able to use it as cover to slip inside the system. GW. I knew I'd heard that name before. Yeah. <coughs> GW was one of the Patriot Cell AIs. It was installed on Arsenal gear. Emma's worm should have put it permanently out of commission. But Liquid somehow recovered and repaired it. Yeah, they burned my face. JD must be unable to recognize GW, even though it's inside the Patriot system. It's a blind spot. GW was written off as lost while it was still tied in. <coughs> Using it let Liquid interfere with the AI from the inside. He made contact under the guise of Big Boss's genetic code. Even the AI threat detection system was fooled. <coughs> uh, even on the network. <sighs> Oh, there you can see some stats. It all makes sense now. That's why they made Arsenal go berserk five years ago. GW was on board. Where is this haven? Where is their base? Don't worry. 
Mei Ling is using the position of the Mark II's last transmission to predict the course of Liquid's ship. It's only a matter of time before we find him. <coughs> but that's not all Liquid said. Something about Rex being ready. Rex? You mean... Shadow Moses? <laughs> it's Campbell. The U.S. military systems are all in liquid. Riding in rows are very the close. The regional systems have all been other. shut down. Guns are falling silent across the earth. It's the first total ceasefire in human history. That's good. How's the White House responding? The public. The president has yet to make an official announcement. Unless liquids take control of everything, though. But the media is starting to pick up on it. <coughs> the information's gonna be controlled anyway. <laughs> Not this time. The war economy is ground to a complete halt. It's tough to play down a crisis of these proportions. War economy related stocks are already going into a free fall. <clears throat> they must be shitting themselves at the White House right about now. <laughs> <laughs> In any case, America had better sleep soundly while she still can. Liquid's insurrection is about to begin. The first thing he'll do is try to destroy the system that Patriots built to control the U.S. He's already taken the system. No. Supreme Authority still resides with JD, which the Patriots still command. Which is why Liquid plans to launch a nuclear strike on JD in its orbit. But Liquid only controls SOP, and SOP only controls guns and small firearms. Unless he gains supreme authority, Liquid can't use America's nukes and ballistic missiles. So how's he gonna launch this strike? With Rex, bro. <laughs> Good question. And some... The U.S. converted its nuclear arsenal to reliable replacement warheads two years ago. RRWs. Yes. The core of the RRWs is now completely ID controlled by the SOP system. You'd need supreme authority from JD itself to control them. And they can be shut down remotely in case of an emergency. All the old nukes were pulled out of service when they deployed the replacements. All? Oh. Can you really get rid of uh, thousands of we nuclear weapons? Nukes. He's going to use Rex. What? Rex was scrapped before the Sons of the Patriot system was implemented. Of course. The Railgun. I was thinking that, but you still need. Indeed. Rex's Railgun can launch a stealth nuclear warhead into space unconstrained by the system. In short, it's the only device they have. That is able to launch a nuke. We're gonna have to destroy it again. Use it to kill JD and deliver the coup de gras to the Patriots' reign. Campbell, where's Rex now? I think you know. A long forgotten base in you. Are we going back to Shadow Moses? Outside the Patriots' control. That's the ultimate nostalgia the place move. Where Liquid made his debut. His monument Bruh. on the Alaskan coast in the Fox Archipelago. We are returning? Shadow Moses Island. <coughs> oh, she. No if way. If Liquid destroys JD and his GW assumes total control over the system, he'll have the world at his fingertips. 
and no one will be able to stop him. Not even the Patriots. You are the only ones who can save us now. I have conflicted Snake, feelings because I'm counting on you. It Defeat feels a little bit like we are into his insurrection. Working for the Patriots, not in favor of them, or something like. I feel like liquids and liquid and solid. They they both want the same thing a little bit, kind of. Or at least they have a common enemy. But I guess they have a different vision on where to go from from the present, or what they want to achieve. Enough is enough, Snake. You can't take any more of this. I'm not dead yet. That's not what I mean. You can't beat Liquid. He's got the Patriots' own control system on his side. Not only are weapons useless, but the U.S. military is in shambles. And even if it weren't, Liquid's got enough men and machines to match it. Things can't get any worse. Face it, Snake. We've lost. Otacon. We never stood a chance. It's not about winning or losing. I... No. We started this. Getting some uh, Ryan and Snake uh, bonding moment here. You and I are both just pawns in this proxy war. But once this is over. We will have our freedom. Run. I'll release you. It's the only way I'll ever be free. Run. Five years ago. That's not what I meant. I've got nothing to lose. <sighs> Don't be an idiot. No, you've got someone to protect. <laughs> it was never 
going to work out for me. It even rained the day I was born. You've got it all wrong. You were the lightning in that rain. You can still shine through the darkness. The lightning. That's lightning. inspiring. Look at me. Wait, has he explained that to the rest yet? Or you. shouldn't that not so weird for the rest? Family. <laughs> I have no family. <laughs> oh, this turned to a. Uh, <laughs> Big movie drama here. But I don't really understand. Fully their motives as in like I have always been alone. <laughs> always <laughs> You are not alone, bro. Look around you. You still have one more game to do, bro. <laughs> Don't leave me here alone. Isn't that a little bit heavy for you, Sonny? Our My fight. <laughs> Dr. Emmerich? May! May Ling. Results back. It's official. He's on Shadow Moses Island. We lost Metal Gear Mark II's signal along the way, but the ship was headed in the direction of Shadow Moses. This is a picture of the island taken by a civilian imagery satellite. She gonna tell say something the to snake? The sea line is rising due to global warming. Have you heard that the entire Fox Archipelago is about to slip into the ocean? The surrounding islands have already been evacuated. Liquid's arrival there can only mean one thing. He is going to use Rex. That's how it looks from here. All the Metal Gears after Rex were embedded with system IDs. Then what about Rex? What did Washington do with it? The nuclear disposal facility on Shadow Moses hasn't been touched since the incident. That was nine years ago. The president of arms tech and the DARPA chief were killed, and the secretary of defense was arrested. By the time the Shadow Moses incident was over, there wasn't a single person left there who knew what took place. It was as if nothing had ever happened. The data was either falsified or erased, so no traces would be left behind. We were exiled to desk jobs for the same reason. Rex and the nuke should still be where they were nine years ago. Untouched. That was a bit weird. A haven. Well, I'd say it's more like a forgotten island. <coughs> and it's sinking too. I thought I'd never go back. 
This is crazy. I wonder how the uh, locations are gonna look. If we're gonna recognize some areas, or how did they change in 90 years being abandoned? Before the system was put in place, and why is not that far away? Otacon, you're not wearing your glasses anymore. Oh, I, yeah, I switched to contacts. <laughs> we rendezvous at Shadow Moses. She really didn't say anything to say. Snake. He who submits to heaven shall live. He who defies heaven shall perish. <laughs> Melinging always was famous for. I have to atone for my past. Bring too. about quotes. In the first game. Bro. Rex is a <laughs> beast. Born from my research. I think that's a lost opportunity. I guess maybe later she will say something to him or him to her. I don't know. But in the first game, they had such a good like. Shadow Moses awaits. Connection. I don't know. Also, her accent suits a lot more to American, right? In the first game, she had like a little bit of a Asian accent, right? I guess that different. Voice actress. Here we go. Back to Shadow Moses. It, uh. Oh, what the hell? Bro, what is this? <laughs> I'm literally playing Metal Gear Solid 1 now. I'm having, like, this is like a dream or something? This is so cool. <laughs> this is so cool, man. What? Yo. Even the enemies and everything. So do I have to play this now? Oh, fine. For a throwback? Yeah. So I guess they're gonna show us this, and then they will show us how it is, it is looking now, right? Let's go and see the footsteps, though. No? Whose footprints are these? Yeah. Hmm. So I guess I just uh, go. Oh, I need to grab the sockum. <laughs> Is that why the game just? Uh... Oh, there's no sockum here. Okay. Is that why the game closed? I guess, right? <clears throat> like this game has so much like fun stories and nostalgia moments, right? Man, <laughs> this is making me want to play <laughs> the first game again. <laughs> Snake was uh Everything all right, Snake? Dreaming. Uh, I was about that. that dream again. We're here. Shadow Moses. Yo. This is hype. MGS1 Snake. Uh, I'm gonna save on a different spot because I'm scared about corrupt save files. Uh, Act 4 Twin Sons. Bro, are we gonna... Was, was Liquid Body, like, buried here? Because Ocelot took his hand. <laughs> literally shot back Liquid's hand from the corpse and reattached to himself. <laughs> Bro, 
Th they are. Are you all right? They are remarking so much Snake Age lately. In the briefing and now. Not much time left. But that's that's true. It's our last replacement, so try not to break it. Who me? Never. One more thing. I don't see anybody around, but there are unmanned sentries patrolling the area. Be careful what? out there. Where are we? Is this the uh, the closest thing that comes to mind? Is Sniper Wolf's arena? Where the hell are we? Okay. The heliport is to the west of there. Head west. <laughs> I'm sorry. I always interrupt Otakon. He said head west. But probably was gonna say more stuff. Yeah, we have a lot of ammo and stuff. A little bit of lag here. I'm not sure if the game is supposed to look like this, I guess so. There is like a blizzard. Okay. I wonder if they're gonna put some bro, he's looking. Maybe I'm freezing. I don't know. Um, what is that? There is something ahead. And unmanned sentries. So like robots? What the fuck? Oh, geckos. There is geckos here. Can I put the face? Junk snake. Junk with bandana. Metal Gear Solid 1. <laughs> beauty. Laughing beauty and raging beauty, yes. Okay. We're gonna do this one, right? Bro, it looks so weird though. I like this. Right, here we go. Can I? No, 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 no. There you go. I'm not sure if I can put those to sleep to rest. And I don't know also what's their range of vision. Oh, this is uh, the intro, the heliport. Uh, imagine Metal Gear Solid 1 remake like this, man. This is the closest thing, right? It's Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Okay, okay. Excellent, Snake. How's that sneaking suit working out? Chop grenades! I was gonna say literally. What are my chop grenades under here? Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska. Surveillance camera? Oh shit. This hype. Oh, you gotta enter from here. What is this? Yeah, 
<laughs> RP ammo. Okay. The other camera should be here, right? <laughs> this is so cool. It looks like the front hangar door is open. A little bit at least. Where is my sockum? <laughs> Not fair game. Not fair. Oh, is it this one? Yo, look at that. There's a lot of stuff in there, I don't know. Should I enter from there? I wanna check upstairs so. A surveillance camera. <laughs> Can you freeze or something? Why is the screen getting so snowy? There's a rush in there. I don't want to rub it. Well, it's cool how the snow accumulates. Look at the footprints. And then if you shake, it removes. Um, making this game for PS3, I heard it was super, super hard. I could go through here too. But I kind of go. I, I kind of want to go through main hangar because uh, it's new. But I'm scared too. What the hell? There's a lot of scouters, though. Caution. Can I take these guys down? It's like a bullet hair room. So the ventilation will have to take us there to the two noodles. That's okay though. That's some ravens too. I guess I had to get to the to the laser room, but I want to check the second floor. I want to check everything. Can I take everyone down, or can I just sneak past them at least? If I do this, what do they do? I cannot take these guys down, man. Oh shit. I don't like this. My stress is going over the roof. Mind detector. Oh shit. That's a gecko. This worked. I think a gecko got inside the hangar. Oops. Back to caution. Bro, how am I supposed to? I guess you just have to get past them. Okay, stress going down. Is what to check the buildings or the rooms rather. Let's 
let's see. Can they see you even if they're not looking at you? These guys are sleeping? These ones are scanning. They hurt me or something? Why did they do that? What if I throw a stun grenade? Would, would that work? Or maybe I have to shoot them when they're scanning on that little thingy. I don't know. That worked. Why? How? Suppressor? For the... Wait, wait, wait. For the Sockum. How do I equip it? Turn the light on and off. Yeah, how do, how do I put the suppressor? There you go. I don't know what to do here. Let me see. Can I shoot these guys? Oh, you can. Oh, shit. They explode, though. Let's try to lose them. I want to check this room. Oh, shit. The gecko is out there. I guess they cannot come inside. Can I... This camera here, man. What is this? They know I'm the box, right? Yeah. Alright, whatever. Let's just get out of here. Actually, I'm gonna do this. Can they follow me here? Oh, my stress is going over the roof. <laughs> I don't think... Do I have any books? I don't remember. I'm gonna have a smoke. I'm gonna have a smoke. While I wait. To reduce the stress, you know. Look at the fucking rat. <laughs> Why don't they detect the rat, though? I really wish you could take this down with this with the other thing that you can. Are they gonna see me? Almost. I don't understand very well the detection. Of these guys, because they are like. How is that thing scanning from up there down here? Hello. Is it sound based or? I don't Are gonna have some Vulcan Raven memories? Is there gonna be claimers here? I'm gonna crawl. Snakes, be careful. Be careful. Deep throat. There are claymore mines around there. Red Fox! Who are you? Who are you? Fox! Bro, this, this was not... Oh shit. What is this? RPG ammo. Huh? 
these are cool to be honest. Oh fucking hell! Look out! Run, snake! Holy fucking shit, I didn't see that guy. Hey, what is this? I bought music. I'm freezing, bro. Rat, stop it! Got him. Bro, that guy got scared the fuck out of me. Shadow Moses, nuclear warhead storage. Ration on the left. Ration on the left. Or I, st I don't play the game anymore. I'm gonna save. I have to save. This is so cool, man. Give me a ration right now. Oh, I'm full of rations. I have 10. Yeah. Yo, look at this shit, man. Like. Oh, man. Like, this is. It's, it'll be so easy to make a, a remake with this shit, bro. I don't see any enemies around here. Okay. We'll go through the door all the way at the back. Otacon, last time around we had a few complications and wound up going through the commander's office in the basement. That's right. I remember now. But there's no need to go all the way down there this time, right? The back door takes us straight where we need to go. Mm -hmm. Good point. Oh yeah, on Psycho okay, Mantis, uh... Let's get to the back door. On the Psycho Mantis room, right? I love how they put the same items in the same spots. Oh. So this is the Nikita, I'm guessing. Or the Stinger. It looks more like the Nikita, right? I want to check the second floor. Like, even if I don't have to go there. Man, this is amazing. What is the camera there? There was a box here. There is no electricity snake. Can I use the elevator? Oh, the elevator is not working. Hmm. The panel lights are dead too. Looks like the power's out. Still, there's no need to take the elevator, is there? Hurry up and head to the gate at the north end of the building. This one? Snake, that door is locked. Hacker man, unlock it. I open it. Sonny, help Security me. Security is shut down altogether. You can't release the lock without activating it. You'll have to log in somewhere. He does this without having the glasses. I've got it, Snake. My old office is close by. With the power on, you should be able to unlock the door from there. And if you check the facility records, we can find out Rex's status and who's been in and out. You remember where it is, Snake? Uh, I've not seen it all yet. Just to be safe, I'm marking it on your map. You old geezer. <laughs> Snake, the password is 48273. Think you can remember that? I told you, I'm not senile. I put it on my book. Jet. 48273. Have it die hard. Well, how do I get to his office though? Snake, I've checked the APU on this floor and engaged the generator. 
energy output is low, but it should be enough to power the elevator. Okay, so we're gonna Try have to go the elevator there. And see if it's working. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Uh, Cyber Ninja flashbacks, right? Like, come on, come on. Make me feel, Snake. Oh, they only did B2. Man. <laughs> they literally recreated the whole thing for... Okay, first go down the central hallway. Don't worry, it's not electrified anymore. The cameras, the cameras. Play more. What? They took up the cameras, bro. What the fuck? Yeah, Jan, should make the noise. You don't have the, you don't have the, the key. Everything looks exactly like I remember it, except for the wall way I, in back. Anyway, I, I guess I still can't believe how much damage you caused in such a small space. Ah, the switchboard. Nailed it with a remote control missile to shut down the electric current in the floor. The guidance system in those things takes up so much space, it hardly leaves any room for explosives. Didn't make much of a bang, huh? Hardly. Switchboard's still intact. You're right. The wiring past the switch circuits could still be live. Wait a minute. I'm not gonna get shocked if I walk on this floor, am I? No need to worry. As long as you don't turn the current back on. Metal Gear 20 year history. <laughs> S1 and S2 orchestra medley. Let's listen to that. What do I take off? Compress. Uh, I guess I have to add the syringe at all times. And I don't need the signal interceptor anymore, right? Uh, what is the iPod here? Oh, let's listen. You can't listen it on the background, right? Music. Uh, albums. Exclusive in game podcast. No. Oh, this one. Oh shit. My body armor. This is not electrified. This room was bigger. Police notes poster is still there. That is where he peed yourself. It's like one of my Japanese animes. Hold on. I want to check security. And the rest from the fight too.
password I told you before. You remember it, right? I'm not even looking at the notes. 428273, right? Because I completely forgot. Can you punch it in for me? Yeah. <laughs> Game is testing if we're day. getting old as Snake, right? Wrong password. <laughs> Alarm. <laughs> oh no, the game crashed. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> that is so funny in this moment. That is so funny. <laughs> Don't crash again. All right, we got past. Hey, let's go. Nice job. At least your memory hasn't gone bad. <laughs> and I pulled it? Wait. Ooh, I went in uh, energy back. That was only nine years ago. It's not too much, right? Oh. It's not conjuring up any unpleasant memories, is it? <laughs> I was being attacked by Frank Yeager. Yeah, I remember. If you hadn't shown up when you did. Shivers just thinking about it. Snake, you saved my life. Naomi hated them for what they did to Frank's body. But it was me that crippled him in the first place. She must have hated me too. Bro. <sighs> he was using the metal here himself. Maybe she put something on the pen drive, the USB. I don't know, Snake. But it looks like she's still with him. What? I just had a look at the security access logs. As I thought, there's people coming and going at frequent intervals. In fact, the records show some recent activity. Look at this. It's an image taken a few hours ago by a surveillance camera up ahead. A bomb and nail me. That looks like the place before the Metal Naomi. Gear hangar. And vamp. Right? The beauty and the beast. They've been through here. From what we've gleaned from the security records, it can only mean one thing. They're headed for Rex's old underground hangar. Yeah. I finished rebooting security and released the locks. The door on the first floor ought to open for you now. Uh, uh, amazing. 
Almost makes me nostalgic for the days when you needed a key card for every door. Yep. <laughs> it's been nine years. All you really have to do is reinterpret the old technology in terms of the new. Getting old isn't all that bad, you know. <laughs> Let's get going, Snake. Wait, tell me you don't take me off from this room, please. Thank I you. finished unlocking the door on the first floor. It should open now. So, curiosity. I just learned this the other day. Apparently, in police knots, you had uh, Meryl was originally from this game. And Kojima liked her so much that she basically, from this, from police knots, she put her on Metal Gear Solid. But originally, she's from the other game. It's crazy, right? He should have been killed, but he's still alive. What? What? They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. How long are you going to stay in there? Huh? Are you one of them? <laughs> no, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? <laughs> Come on. Oh my god. Nice. Wait, give me those noodles, though. Oh, let's go. I'm gonna save again. And... change the camouflage of the chest can i put it like auto i guess not it's going the way i have to go but i can always go around snake it's blocking the hallway leading to the elevator You'll have to do something before you can get to the first floor. I got this, bro. I'm an expert. This glass is broken this time, right? So. This way. Bye, Echo. You tried. By the way, I saw a dropper. Let go. All right, I'm guessing there could be more geckos out here, so we're box. <laughs> I like how the snow keeps falling and the dust. And okay, he, Snake, he covers. Take the stairs down and go to the north door. He I'll covers your body. You the Mark III. Thank you, Wally. I mean, I was already down there. Wait, who's this? Is this the Gecko taking the elevator? Yep. I guess they know something's fishy, right? Yeah. Oh man, more 
Gecko, the Mark III is totally defenseless while working on the door. You'll have to distract the Gecko so they don't spot it. Alright. Oh shit, they're shooting them. So we're going full full attack here. Yo! Take this, motherfucker! We get it? I'm gonna die, man. Well, take this. How are your life? What the hey. fuck? RP to the face. God. Is there more gonna come? Yeah. Okay, Snake. It's open now. Uh, I'm gonna buy more ammo for this M7. What was he called? Portable, portable anti-tank? Portable ones that are broken. I like that. Uh, let's buy M7 ammo. Ooh, javelin. 120,000. Holy shit. We also have a machine gun. Uh, can I buy... What was it called? This one. That's okay. We have 30, 12 RPGs and 20 grenades. That's, that's fine. Let's go. Okay. I was trying different weapons to see how long did it take to kill that thing. So we are at... Where am I? The wolves! The wolves! I don't have the sniper wolf uh, napkin thingy though. Or hander thingy. Whatever it's called. They, they literally use the same sounds, even. SVD, let's go. I'm guessing... Oh, that's the tower we rappel from. After fighting the high D. Wait, 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 wait. Are we gonna see the... So yeah, this is where we fought the sniper wolf. Okay. Oh, we're gonna see the blood from here or something. No way. That, that, that doesn't stay that long. And probably they will keep it the same as the... Yeah. Oh. Oh, another boss here. The beast. This is the beast. The one with the tail. Oh, shit. There's a rail gun too. Oh, are we gonna have to do another sniper fight? Because they just give us the SVD. Prime wolf. Oh, we're gonna have to do a sniper fight. That's so cool. Careful, man. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm, I'm still gonna use the emotion, though, but... Hey, I have the face camo. I should not be giving thermal there. Yeah. Nice. 
Jake still got it on him. But it's weird because before we saw this this enemy like jumping, being very agile, and now it's like camping. Maybe he has two faces. Oh shit. Oh, there's also frogs. Are you serious? Laughing, anger, sadness, crying. Okay. It's like a wolf. Okay. Crying wolf. I'm gonna save, first of all. Okay, and now. So, I'm gonna go back to the other weapons, and I'm gonna use the... The thermal vision here. Flash one grenade, yeah. Wait. Smoke grenade... Maybe smoke grenades are good too, you know. I'm just gonna keep this in case we have geckos later, but... So... Sniping time. Stop moving. I'm just taking down the plebs first so we can focus on the boss, you know? There's one behind the boxes. No, 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 no. Who wants to wake him up or what? Uh, let's hope they stay asleep for a while. Oh, they're waking each other up or what? Or they just keep responding. Let's count their bodies. Hush. What is the boss, though? I guess that's an item. I'm running out of... Uh, running out of battery. I think there's one more frog around here, though. No? Maybe not. Oh, there is one. They're trying so hard, man. The beast, I hear it. What the fuck? Bro, my back. Okay, that didn't do anything. I'm losing my... my stress thingy. I just to smoke, I think. But I can see shit in this blizzard, man. What the fuck? Everything is white. Okay, okay, okay. There's like a huge thing walking around here. 
Oh, that's her, that's her, that's the boss. So she's just hiding. These are her footsteps. Okay. So we need to find her. It's like it's like hide and seek, basically, with frogs around. Yeah, okay, I see her. And then she goes exposed, but then she doesn't. Like that. And now she's coming for me, I think. But she moved. I see her. She went over there. Okay. So it's like... Yeah, it's like a beast and a... Hunted and hunting. She saw me, she saw me, she saw me. Yeah, okay, okay. That was not too much damage. That was. She's moving over there. This guy's still... Thank you, Lou, for the promoting role. Thank you so much for the rest description. Oh shit, what is that? Did you see me? Oh fuck! I want here, bro. Shut the fuck up! Man. Hello, hello. Okay. My battery is running low. Can I recharge my battery somehow? Oh, she's there. She's there. She's here. How's it going? Uh, doing a boss fight right now. Stop moving. She saw me. Oh my god, really? I was about to fucking head to shield her. Okay, I need to keep track of where she is, though. I need to unequip the... unequip the eye. Wow. She's coming for me. Who saw me? Alert? Ah, uh, they're flashing me. They're flashing me. Run. They're shooting me. Run, snake. Ah, oh, shit. Whoa. I need to get the fuck out of here. How are they still seeing me? I guess I have to take them down. Again. <laughs> oh. You're right. Bro, really? Fall asleep, man. Oh, the business guy behind me! Oh, 
Oh, fuck. My stress is going over there. Oh, no. It's bad. Oh, this shit fell asleep. Yeah, Lair is going down. I need to... Eat some noodles. My strength is too high. I need to smoke. I need to smoke, guys. I need to fucking smoke. Alert! Grenade! Fuck! Uh, I'm doing well. Do it. Do it a boss fight right now. Shit on the booty. My health. You are no more old? I'm using... Oh, she's so low. I'm using face camouflage. Oh, but battery is full. Yeah, let's use this. She's one shot away, so... Oh, shit. Fuck. Okay. She's moving, she's moving, she's moving. She went this way. The other one is waking each other up. Oh, she's there. We can we can win. We can win. We can win right now. Get this shot. Woo! Clutch. Clutch shot. You bought that little Christmas tree? Nice. Why are you so sad, crying wolf? I don't want Trevin to call me and explain me her story, please. Like, this is cool enough. And it lets to your own imagination what happened to her, but... Whatever.
as much as you like. Let's try CQC, I see what she does. We'll be there to listen. That's safe. So if it crashes, I don't have to repeat the whole other fight. Uh, you just hack you. Wolf. I'm missing those shots. Okay, fine. What? Got here, right? I want to hear a little bit to this. The first boss didn't hug me. She. Well, she grabbed me from behind, I guess. Hey, doll. That the hit what? Okay, fine. No! <laughs> the game is like, you're about to win? No. You kind of win. <laughs> Literally one second away from winning. <laughs> Queen Crash. And she gone. Give me the Russian. Damn it. Insert a disc too. <laughs> or oh, we're gonna take her weapon. Holy. Heavy. Yo, Snake. This fucking guy. I finished laundering that real gun you picked up just now. Knock yourself out. It's on the house. Thanks. Time for another bedtime story, Snake. <laughs> Wait, snake did Greedy Pie listen about no, the best story? Tell you there's whole nations did he say that before? Or was that apart coincidence? In the name of ethnic cleansing. Well, she was born into that environment. When she was a little girl, her village was attacked by rival Same story again. factions. Her parents and siblings were slaughtered, and she was left a refugee. She took her last surviving relative, her baby brother, and ran as far as she could away mm. from the war zone. One day, they came across an enemy unit, so she took her brother and hid in an abandoned shack. And then her brother started to cry. She knew that if the soldiers heard the noise, they would find them and kill them both. So she wrapped her hand as tight as she could around his mouth. 
As the footsteps gradually went away, she came back to her senses. Her brother wasn't crying anymore. Horrified, she pulled her hand away, covered in sweat and spit. He wasn't breathing. Oof. They say wolves eat their own pups when they die. She was spotted wandering through the thick of battle, carrying her dead brother in her arms. She had visions, too. A wolf walking alongside her. Every night, the wolf would howl and cry, just like her brother did that day. Eventually, she made it to a government-run refugee camp. But by then, her brother's body had rotted away. The camp was crowded with refugees like herself, and little children like her brother. Day and night, she was tormented by the cries of babies. The wolf that followed her heard her sorrowful screams and answered. He made his way around the camp, and one by one, he silenced the children. Holy! She tried to stop it, but she was powerless to stop the wolf. A few days passed, and on the eve of the enemy's raid, there wasn't a child left. The adults who survived were torn up pretty bad. Of course, there was never any wolf in that camp. She was the one who killed those I was going to say. But she couldn't bring herself to admit it. She couldn't bear the thought of herself going from one baby to the next, howling like a wolf, snuffing out their little lives. And she never did, even as Crying Wolf, a lonely beast forever stalking the battlefield. Snake, fighting with you made Wolf finally accept what she'd done. She was cleansed by you. If the cries she heard of children on the battlefield have been silenced, it's because of you. You ought to be proud. Three down, one to go. All that's left is Mantis. Yo, that one scares but me. But you should know, Snake. She's been controlling all the other beasts. Exactly. She's the beast of beasts. Don't let her get her hooks in you. I won't. Oh, shit. See you around, Snake. Yeah, that one scares me. A rail gun. Three levels of charge. Okay. Then that's the tower you climb with the alert. All the guys follow you. With the boba skip. Welcome home. Wolf. Sniper. Wolf. This, this act, act four, is nostalgia and fan service. <laughs> Over the top. Holy shit. Maybe the wolf was real, you know? Also, I don't feel very organic the way Trevin comes with these stories, but that one was good. And I, I, I wish they could tell them somewhere different, but it will be even more cinematics and even more. I don't know. I don't know. I'm criticizing it, but I cannot come with a different idea on how to bring that, that backstory up in a, or in a natural way. Okay, Shadow Moses. Nice. There was a Russian back here. Oh, what the hell? Hello. Look, he has the hearts, like in the first game. Where? Oh, yeah. And then, woo! That sound in the background is literally the same sound effect on the first game. Sorry, buddy, I have to put you to sleep. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> They're not happy about that. Oh, shit, sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Can I 
be your friend again? I wanted to test. I want to do the test if I put it to sleep, not kill it, obviously. If it will, like, follow me or something, but I didn't know there were more wolves. Sit! Sit! Wait, 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 what is that song? I didn't read the song, but what if it's Sniper Wolf's music? Let's try it out. Man, this fucking menu, fuck. Uh, how do I know? I wish you could see which one you picks last, you know? It's not that one. Mm. Oh, I didn't pick the other song. It's not this one either. Probably here, right? No. What is this? Ah, whatever. Uh, boys. I, I lost stamina myself doing that. We're good? When you wake up, you're gonna be friendly to me, right? Oh, I, I thought we could enter this stuff, but I can't. Okay. In that case... Hey. Hey. Get up. Oh, they're still mad. They, they remember. I thought after going to sleep, they may have forgot, but they don't. I need these this two boys. Hold it, Snake. Time to change the disc. I know, I know, it's a pain. But you need to swap disc one for disc two. You see the disc labeled two? No. Uh, no. Huh? Oh, wait. We're on PlayStation 3. It's a Blu-ray disc. Dual layered, too. No need to swap. Damn it, Otacon. Get a grip. <laughs> yeah, what an age we live in, huh, Snake? Wonder what they'll think of next. Every Metal Gear game has like a one of those. It's a game. It's a game. Press this button. Do this action. That they 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 do that a lot of times, but it never takes you away from their mission. Right? So cool. Oh, this is the lava place. Oh, there are more machines here. So that was the crane. That was moving. We're gonna go the same way. Can you crouch? Yeah, there you go. But in the first game, it was looking as away from the wall. You were like. Can I not crouch? I guess I can. Yeah. That door was not there though, but I guess it was because of the lava. Oh, thank you for the follow, Joker Sar Sagent? Sagent? Thank you. Railgun ammo, 15. Okay, I'm gonna check that door. Yes, sir. What's up? We are. <laughs> Ouch, he's grabbing onto me. What is that door? I wanna lose these guys. Oh my god. 
I love this game and storyline. I'm liking it so far. It has a little bit too many cinematics for my taste. But it's alright. It has a lot of uh, fun service and nostalgia moments like this one. <laughs> Let me go here to see if I can lose these boys. Can I throw an EMP or something to lose them? It's still coming up. I'm gonna play with your jingle bells. <laughs> like the movie. Alright, yeah, they're going back. And the stress is going down. Good. Let me try to get the... Let me check over here, I guess. This is where the two cameras were. But I hope there's no cameras now. In the lava. Oh, we can't go where the lava was, actually. Oh, shit. Do you remember, guys, when I played Metal Gear Solid 1 a couple of weeks ago? And I was gonna grab the item and I just slipped and I fell to the lava. <laughs> okay, I guess we cannot do anything here. First time playing Metal Gear Saga? No, 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 no. Replay, replay. This one is the first time I'm playing Metal Gear Solid 4 myself. Uh, I watched the game on Judo. Oh. Because I didn't have a PS3. And I wanted to know what happened. So I watched the game on Judo. Uh, five, six years ago, I think. I don't remember many things. Okay. But this is the first time I actually decided to to install the PS3 emulator and make it tr and try to make it work. And it's working. It has crashed a few times, but not too bad, I guess. Sorry for the white screen, guys. <laughs> I'm trying to lose these guys, but I don't think they were they. Nothing star related to work. I guess this, this guy's only far power. What about you, Joker? Have you played? I guess you have played all the games, right? Oh, we can go this way. Uh, this is an elevator. Let me lose them before I go. I don't want to go with the alert. So my stress is going out. I'm just gonna have a smoke, guys. You guys don't mind me. How you guys doing? You guys doing good? Yes. Let's play some music in the background while we wait. Can I do shuffle? All of them, I love watching them sequential over there. So I'm playing on release order. We play Metal Gear 1, Metal Gear 2, Solid Snake. Then we play Solid 1, Solid 2, Solid 3. Now we are on Solid 4. So after this, I'm gonna do... Peace Walker. Rising and Phantom Pain. So this is like an orchestra version. This is the song from... Dun, 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 dun. Let's go. I like, I like the movie clips. The movie clips of this game is 12 hours long. <laughs> That's crazy. Let's go. B5. So this is the equivalent of walking through the the platform that moves down. Oh, this is Miller. Miller, aka Liquid. Is that all you care about? Frank Yeager, the man who you destroyed was my brother and my only family. Great Fox. You killed my benefactor. 
and sent my brother home a cripple. I vowed revenge. But I can't go yet. I still have a job to do. I vowed revenge. Is there... Is there gonna be any new Metal Gear? I don't know, without Kojima, they did survive and... Yeah, we all know what happened with that, so... Just let it die, just let it rest. The saga is finished. Kojima was tired, I think, by this game. He was like, alright, let's, let's finish this shit, bro. It's been too long. Kojima was tired. It has enough saga, it has everything. Everything is tied up. I don't think Metal Gear needs... Anything more, to be honest. Um, I don't know where to go here. I'm guessing over there. I want to explore everything, though. What is this place? So yeah, this is where the platform comes down, where you fight those three guys. On the platform with the ravens, and then you fight Vulcan Raven on the containers. Yeah. Oh, we never been here in the first game. This is the song before you enter the hangar of, of Rex. Let me put the sun in eye. I'm guessing there's gonna be more of those hands there. They say their name before, but I forgot. <laughs> there's one more gecko, I think. At this time, for real, let's try to not get detected. It's like, I just like exploring everything. And looking at the environments. It looks so cool. With these graphics. Let's go over here. We have some, uh, a lot of geckos. One on the air, hanging. Two on the ground, and a few hands. Two going around. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see if we can do this. Should I go guns blazing and kill everything? Sneaky mission. Can I even go this? Oh shit. I cannot even go this way. What the hell? Well, I guess I have to go to the middle. If I if I shoot these guys with a suppressor? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Will they get alerted? This is risky. A lot of them. One more hand there. 
The left is clear. Damn it. Hey Shadow, what's up? Are you serious? I had to go this way then. Oh, that was too close. That was too close. This fucking camera. Oh shit. We did it, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome. We're playing Metal Gear Solid 4, Act 4. Okay. I need to save, I need to save. That was good, that was good. No alarms. Sneaking through. Ah, oh, shit. Please, no cinematic. Thank you. You never know, you know? Yeah. We are almost at Rex. W why did they do it this way? This is weird. That you have to like go through such weird places. Oh, okay, okay. It's just up ahead. The traps. Just a little bit further. Stay on route. The camera is still. I'm very tempted to grab the shotgun and just shoot these guys, you know? Where is the shotgun? This was called MK3? This one? 23. I always wonder why I never seen anyone play Snake on Twitch. Now I see someone does. What do you mean? What do you mean? Shit, oh, what the fuck? Oh, uh, they, they send reinforcements, boys. They send reinforcements. I think they know. Oh, what? Uh, I uh, 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 How many? <laughs> you are the only one I see who plays Metal Gear Solid. I play all the Metal Gear Solid Shadow. We play for almost a month now. Uh, well, killing that guy was not worth it, I guess. Maybe they go away after the caution. I play all kind of games, Shadow. If you look my, if you look at my YouTube, <laughs> you're gonna see all kind of games. Hello, play player alert. We're not on alert. We're on caution, though. Love this part of the game. Absolute nostalgia bomb. That's what I've been saying this whole time. Fan service and nostalgia over the top. Okay, so I'm in danger. Are they going away now? Go back to where you came from from the from that hole. <laughs> they are all going back. Thank you around for stopping by, by the way. Very glad to see so many new faces around. So okay, not killing anymore. Or if you kill them, I guess you have to like insta kill them before they get the alert. Also, why do I have this ridiculous outfit? This sneaky time stealth mission. Look at my crotch. Look at me go. True snake action. The true snake experience. Right here. So there's one guy coming. Let me let me try something. Let me try something. What if I just snipe this guy? Boom, insta-kill. Insta 
and he doesn't alert anyone, right? Right? That surely works, right? They're coming! Ravensburg! Oh, shit! Bro, I don't want to enter that building with the alert, to be honest. Can I lose them? I know, they know, they know. They know. Fuck you, bitches! No quiver glow in this game. Shit! Okay, fuck it. Let me alone! Who's shooting me? I guess there are some with pistols or with guns or something. I don't know, let's go. They cannot come in here. They cannot come in here. They cannot come in here! I repeat! Alright, you know what? I have a new idea. Wait, what? Oh, I have to unlock the grenades. <laughs> I'm this fine the game I have and I'm unlock the grenades, by the way. Uh, what? Okay, I have 10. That should be enough. Grenade! Oh shit. Whoa. <laughs> My game crashed. <laughs> I want to fall into the hole. Snake, you can't die. No, Snake. Snake! Wow. I think this is the first time we see the mission fail screen. I don't think I died ever before in the game. <laughs> and that was very cool to see all those flashbacks. Was that only Solid Snake or were some big boss flashbacks through there? What was that? Interesting. Snake! I think that's the first time we, we get that game over, right? I don't think we heard that before. Okay, interesting. I mean, I'm playing normal. The game is not too hard or anything. They give you a lot of like healings and you can buy ammo. Like, the game is so easy. And I remember when I played Solid 1, I fell into the trap. I was walking and it opened and it fell. So I just wanted to recreate that moment. <laughs> I was like, I need to be careful about the cameras. Well, let's try to get past this guy this time. So he goes all the way over there with the camera. We just need to wait for the camera to go left. Then we go to that little uh, stair on the on the top right, and then we go back the, to the door when he returns. Right? We need to be a little bit patient, basically. <sighs> so anything you want to talk about now is a good moment. I guess you cannot one-shot these guys. Maybe with the RPG, it's fucking boom, RPG. But since there's two of them, the only one will get good kill alert, right? So it doesn't work. So now this guy's gonna go this way. Now we go, now we go. There you go. Now I'm guessing it will go back to where it was. Oh, it's gonna come up here. Shit. is coming up here are you serious so maybe then the base is to hang to hang on that on that edge oh it's going back it didn't come up go back good boy but i think he's gonna look back are you looking back Let's wait for the camera. There you go. There you go. Rex is on the floor above you. Use the lift. Oh! Wait, what?
This is crazy. Rex. What is Grey Fox blood? <laughs> there should be some exoskeleton laying down around there, right? Like, I don't remember any of these, to be honest. Zero. So. No spoilers, please. This platform here? There was no platform here, right? I don't know. So he's gonna liquid be on the control room with Bamp and Naomi? I don't know. That's where Grey Fox was crashed against the wall. Look, the railgun's been removed. Oh. Liquid doesn't need the whole Rex to launch his nuke. He only needs the railgun. Damn it. Has it already been shipped? Hang on, I'll check. I'm afraid so. Bomb is here. Unfortunately for you, the railgun is no longer Naomi. here. Naomi. This place will be your grave, as my queen wishes. The suicide gecko are on their way. Soon. There'll be nothing left of this place. We've been had. All gone. Snake, I think I might be able to get it working. I just need some time. Hurry! Mm. I'll leave the rest. I'm not sure if she's for real or she's acting as a double cross spy or something. I don't know. I will be very poetic because, uh. Her brother died here, right? Saving us, actually. Oh, we're gonna have to fight Bamp, are you fucking kidding me? Okay. I'll take care of Rex. You take Vamp. Kill that monster. Get Naomi back, Snake. Please. <laughs> Mm. Bro, stun lock? Hello? Oh my god, headshot. Let's try it, bro. Okay, it's losing health. I should save, right? <laughs> Please scope. Ooh, that hurts, huh? I'm kind of corner here. That means that shot. I shall not do that. My bad. Get a fucking punch, bro. Oh shit, he's mad. 
Too smart. Okay, okay, okay. okay. It's giving us some uh, windows between huh? Oh, he's using the knives now. Let's see. It's almost dead. I tried to bait him. You re just recover. Time to finish this. Completely healed. Right. It went down in one shot there. So as these nano machines spin through my veins. Nano machines. So how do we make uh, these nano machines not work? Let's see items. What about this? Ne Naomi gave us this, right? Let's try. I never use this, but it's okay. Fuck is it? Bro. So what if I Smalls help you relax? Oh, it's just to relax. It's not like the cigarettes, but without losing health. Oh, I should have do this. But uh, smoking is too good, man. Oh look, 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 look. Open the item window and press OK button. To use it on others, capture them by using CQC and then press triangle. Let's try that. That's it. Oh, we got him. That was a trick. That's why she gave it to us, maybe. Uh -oh. What have you done? There. Now you're a mere mortal, like the rest of us. Never. But can you kill this mere mortal? Phase two? Oh, oh get close uh, here. Shit. We're gonna need some heavy power for this. Oh, Ryan. The ninja saves the day again, huh? Snake, sorry to have kept you all waiting. <laughs> you ready for this? Kept you waiting, huh? Sonny gave me the go-ahead. Oh, 
killed its undying man. Care to die too? Sorry, but I can't die just yet. Then kill me. Snake, this one is mine. You keep those gecko at bay. Bro, I feel like a, a secondary character now. We're gonna buy you some time. Unless, imagine you take control of Raiden oh, here for like 10 minutes for this fight. That would be fucking epic. In Metal Gear Solid 2, we're gonna play about playing as Raiden. Now I wanna play as Raiden for the first time ever. You are a scout too, are you not? Then, let us duel with blades. Oh, now he's asking for our honorable pie, yeah? Do I get to play at all? <laughs> Everything is a cinema. Snake and ride. No, no, I get to play, I get to play. Oh, right, we've got... <laughs> oh my god, we get to play and watch a cinematic at the same time. The ultimate Kojima move. Split screen to watch a cinematic while you play. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. Okay. Data on where to aim. Put a bullet through their brains. Okay. This They stab each other. This is true anime shit, bro. Who's next? Watch out. Yeah. Look at them fighting. Oh. Good one, Raven. Oh, good one. Oh. Bro, hello, any enemies? I don't see anyone. I was charging up for a while. It's like blowing up after November. Above you! They're coming from above! Does this cinematic change depending on how well you're doing? I don't think so, right? Snake, be careful. That'll be cool though. As in, like if you're winning you, you also run is winning. I don't think so. I think it just default. I like the real gun. I can watch Ryder now.
Oh, they, is that what the game crashed before? It was here, right? It was around here. Yeah, the hiccup there. Who's shooting me, by the way? Is that someone behind me or something? No, he's getting the riding sword! Watch out, snake! Bump is getting the riding sword! Nice snake! Oh! He ejected the knives with the power and stopped Bump. Oh, he's. Oh, with the sword! He's mortal now, I should die. He's not immortal anymore. You're done, bro. You're gone. No, what did I. Sorry. He's dead, dead, dead. For real now. Let's go. No. Snake, get out of the way. Oh shit. Rax. This thing might come in handy after all. What is he, Star Wars now? R2, R2, V2? Controlling <laughs> the robots. He was never immortal. His natural healing abilities were enhanced by the nanomachines inside his body. But after so many battles, he's finally reached his limit. Doctor is my. Naomi, Sonny asked me to tell you something. What is it? I cooked them right. I see. I mean, it was a liquid second hand, though. Erase the past, nor can we forgive it. And so the only thing we can do is end it. Snake, liquid's down below us. He's stolen the Patriot system. Or I still got an elevator to get up here. What do you mean? <laughs> Ark. 
a warship, unfettered by land, law, country, or network. The only place where they are truly released from the shackles of the Patriots. The place where they can be free. Outer Haven. Outer Haven? Liquid plans to launch the nuke from that ship. Snake. You have been given life so that you may fulfill your purpose. When all of this is over, you'll have no choice but to accept death. We are given life only so that we can atone for our sins. Your life was created for that very purpose. We all must atone for our own sins. We must not pass them on to the next generation. They just snake bound to fate like that. They just the no, they created me for to that do this. Can he not do whatever he wants fate. to do? Is it enough free? One that even you cannot defy. Hmm. What the hell? Uh, they only... What have you done? Vamp and I. We are the same. We're living corpses. Our bodies kept barely alive by nanomachines. Then you... Cancer. Ooh. I shouldn't even be alive right now. Nanomachines have kept it from progressing, but there's nothing more they can do. With the nanomachines gone, time will unfreeze and begin to flow again. What are you saying? Goodbye. Well, they always gonna die, right? And the whole robot thing with the screen is kind of a uh, cringe, but whatever. This is the only way Otakon can be here, giving us this emotional moment. Look at it, looks so weird, man. And they put this sniper wolf song, really? Like they recreate themselves way too much. She just inject herself. Maybe she had to refresh the effect or whatever, but. Good man. This one is not working. Sorry. <laughs> I think I have felt every moment like this. This one. It's kind of weird. Oh, Let's get moving. Back on. Come on. Put yourself together. Otagon, you always choose wrong, bro. <laughs> so 
So Liquid got the Relegant from uh, Metal Gear Rex. I guess we have to find that now, instead. Are we gonna get out of here? You're right. I haven't lost everything yet. I've still got a job to do. That's right. We need you. I'm done crying. I don't have any more tears to shed. We have to get out of here. Any ideas? Time's running short, so I'll explain as we go. Pay close attention. Mm -hmm. I'm listening. We are piloting a Metal Gear. Okay. This is new. Legs. So... Promise. Promise me. Cannot hear you, Nami. We're too far. You'll carry on. Oh, no. <laughs> you have been cool if... Na like, if Snake says something about Grey Fox to Naomi there. I don't know. Because it's such a memorable moment. I need to save. <laughs> Maybe I interrupt all they gun already. Sorry. We have five minutes. We have a night, but let's play some music. Uh, the music we have is fun. Um, laser cannon, AT missile, and Gatling gun. Oh shit. Can I move? Oh, I have to move. Oh, yeah, yeah. Holy shit, guys. The game is gonna crash here for sure, right? <laughs> Yo, what the fuck is happening? Oh, I don't have too many of these. I think I'm doing awful. Destroy everything! Overheat, overheat, overheat. Which way do I have to go though? Is there a map? No data? Okay. Bro, how the fuck does a PS3 run this shit? If you destroy the stairs and then this one in the middle, it's easy, right? Oh! Ryan is going for it now. I may take you too much damage. Three minutes. I hope I'm going the right way. How about I get up, guys? Bro! What is happening? Overheat. Oh, you can't reload this shit. I can't see anything, literally. Am I going the right way? This is the only way to go, right? 
Yeah, important area. Shadow Moses. Here we go. We did it. We did it. Controlling a Metal Gear. Holy. Raiden! Bro, what the fuck? Raiden. Use the metal gear to like pull the rocks. Oh, that's the boat. Of liquids. Or maybe it's a submarine. Oh, it's, it's fucking Ray! It's gonna be like Godzilla versus King Kong. This is cool, this is cool, this is cool, this is cool. Outer Heaven. Rai vs Rex. This is like Jurassic Park. <laughs> when the... Ray! It's not over. Not yet. Top 10 anime fights. Liquid. Moses. Where our fates were born. And where yours ends, Snake! We have an inferior version, though. Can we win this? <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Let's finish this, Snake! Ray may have been designed to wreck you. You got me on your side. You can't lose. Crush Ray. Missile. Burn, brother. Taking cover. Oh, you got melee attack. Now's what? What is it? What is it? He's on my left, but my camera is not working. Where did he go? I need to stay close to him to like peek him when he does that. CQC! CQC for Metal Gears. <laughs> oh, we're gonna fucking wreck. Get combo, bro. Try to get away. Oh, it's trying to get me! Oh, fuck! How did you counter attack? Behind me. Counter attack. By the name. Pat him down. He's epic. Snake behind you. What do you mean behind me? Oh, nice. Not to that bitch. He's almost dead. Come on, we got this. Let's spin him with the laser. Ta me a me a. We tried to get close, but he's welcome back. We got it. We got it. We got it. <laughs> Holy shit!
Dinosaur greater than uh, Amphibious. Like it to me, huh? Bathe it. Sorry. Pretty well, you're so funny. Work this time. So funny. Behold. I guess his boat is there. <laughs> He's just running. <laughs> Oh my god. It's like the Mount, uh, what is it called? Wrestle? Wrestle? Holy shit. Is this the Arsenal gear? Where Metal Gear Solid 2 ends? Or is it like a new boat? One for ourselves. Outer Haven. And with this weapon, I will destroy JD. Then the everything gun. ends. And everything begins. But as for you, brother, you'll stay here to mark the side of watery grave. Was he gonna blow up the island or something? Are those torpedoes? Die, snake! Ryan! Oh no, he's gonna pull a saw. He's gonna have to cut his own feet or leg or something. Or arm. Oh shit. I mean, his body is like cy cybernetic, right? It's not really. Sunny, forgive me. Quite sunny, though. Sunny. Quite. The lightning. Raiden is the lightning. He's like very fox.
Jack. Do you remember the day we met? Yeah. It was in front 28th of, all, of April. There were all these tourists around you. Or 30th. They were asking they were me asking which, which building it was that King Kong was climbing in the movie. The movie. I, said I said it was probably the Chrysler building. Chrysler building. And then you and then showed up you and started, started mouthing, mouthing off. You were like, you no, were it's the no, Empire, it's the Empire State. State. I said, the Chrysler building was in Godzilla. We started we arguing, arguing, and I forgot and I all about all the tourists. About tourists. The next thing we knew, the tourists, the tourists had gone away. And a week later, I found you again by coincidence out in the base corridor. An amazing coincidence. That night, we went up to the top of the Empire State Building. It was so beautiful. I didn't care anymore who was right. And that was our first date. We watched King Kong in your apartment a bunch of times that night. Didn't sleep, didn't till, sleep morning. till morning. No! Fire! Oh, May Lane's here. Fire! How can they use weapons, huh? Worthless fossil. Uh oh. So I'm guessing the the way Riven and Rose met was like real, but I guess uh, the Patriots AI was was because that dialogue technically is from the not really from Rose, but I guess the story is behind it is real still, right? So it's still emotional for him. Hey yo, what's up, man? Bro, you have made such a you have missed so many epic moments. You have no idea. <laughs> Welcome. This is taking a lot longer than I expected. Oh no! Helicopter's coming up. Maybe. Maybe Mei Ling saved, saved this. So we are in Shadow Moses. We're back in the place from the first game. Uh, we got uh, the Metal Gear Rex from the first Metal Gear Solid, and we got to like um, use it, and we had to fight Liquid, Metal Gear Rex versus Metal Gear Ray from the second game. It was fucking epic. And now Raiden saved uh, Snake's life, and he apparently died in the process. Okay, that was it. That was the end of the chapter. Well. What an episode. Holy. Holy shit. Bump died. Naomi died. Raiden died. Uh, wow. I'm trying to process everything that happened. So much shit. Seeing all the levels, not all the levels, but seeing some of the scenarios from Shadow Moses was very cool too. It's like, in some ways, I guess it's like Metal Gear Solid 1 remake. <laughs> that was very cool to see. Good night, guys. Uh, get it ready for a copyright strike, but whatever. Bye.